Hello and welcome to the Easter Classic. Paul Grant Live, Lita Lane's National Amateur in progress. Our 14th string underway. Billy Bloom on lane 20. We're going to be featuring Aaron Fontaine, who is the top three coming in to the 13th string. We'll get the scores as soon as we can to you once they're available. Chris Lafrenia from Western Mass, 17 through 2. Lanes 19 and 20. Billy Bloom, 1 to 10, gets a 10. He has a 58 half, that's a spare, 58 half in the ball. Chris Lafrenia with an 8 drop. He's at 17 through 2. Aaron Fontaine with the third bowler. Actually, he's up next. Followed by Nick Cephalotta Freshie. Aaron, I got it working now. You got it? Yeah, I think you're okay. Freshie, you check, you check the sound, Freshie? Huh? You check the sound, Freshie? You, you too? I would double check the fob just to be safe. All right, Lafreniere yeah, with a 10, 27 through 3 on the fly. We're going to be roaming around the last five or six strings to cover the top bowl. As we know that Austin Barnes had a 2-0-3 earlier today. He's number one right now. Aaron Fontaine was second after 12. Josh Daly was third. Uh, Jeff Stratt, rather, was second, rather. Jeff Stratt second. Josh Daly was third earlier. We'll try to get the results as soon as we can. Lafreniere, 1-3-5-10. He's a couple of boxes behind and we'll have Aaron Fontaine up after this. Thanks for watching. I figured out you weren't, it wasn't the right, right, wrong setting. I took the hard time mode. I, I'm sorry, you got to do this. I'm bowling. Okay? I threw a three at you. Okay, Chris has a spare now. 37 the ball through four. We're getting situated here, so bear with us. We'll try to zoom it a little better if we can. I'll show you more of the pins. You'll see some heads in the way as they fix the scoreboard. Ray's Easter Classic, defending champion Tim the Tornado Douglas, not in the running this year as of now. Top 15 out of 102 get paid a record crowd today. Six in the spare, 43 through four in the 14th string of 20. Spare, great shot. Back-to-back -back spares for Chris Lafreniere. 53 and a ball through five. Ryan Drago on the left. Aaron Fontaine, grandson of Hall of Famer Tom Olster on the right. Actually, Aaron St. Sears up first. No, Aaron Fontaine. No, let's see. Hold on a second. Let's find out here. Aaron's on lane 19 after Ryan Drake. Okay. So it's Aaron St. Sears, the rock star, on lane 20. Aaron Fontaine after Ryan Drago on lane 19. Then Freshy after Aaron St. Sears on the right. Aaron's in the three Pro Series finals, run up all three times. 11 drop puts a dollar. Sign up. One dollar for Candle Fits for Cancer. Chris Lafrenia gets a chuckle out of that one. You've laughed about eight families less than two years on the lemon drop pool. Four of the six pin on your first ball. Five on a spare strike. Good second ball, five in the nine. Ryan Drago, very steady ball, 114 league average, 1-9-10. Missed it. There it is, St. Sarah, 10. Ryan, eight to start his 14th. Chris, 14th string, right? 14th, right? Nick Leach is in the house also. Right. Aaron St. Cyr, 10 to start. 3-6-7. Great try. 
Nick Milfrosh with Sheed to the left of the white t-shirt. On lane 21 to the right. Drago picks it up, nice shot, spare. 18 the ball through two in the 14th. St. Cyr, two tens to start, the 14th of 20. It's a marathon, not a sprint. If you're just joining in, 203 high, single earlier by Austin Barnes. Out of Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill Mass. The youngster doing great, number one so far today. Can you hang on. Jeff Strett was second, Josh Shelley third, waiting for the uh, Scott Herbert getting the results for you. Drago drills eight on the spare. 26 through two. 1369 for St. Cyr, and just missed. Don't like the great game of Cannibal Bowl and get the word out, folks. Drago for another one. Sliced and diced like Jersey Mike's. Wouldn't go. Aaron takes an eight, 28 through three. Five blocks at a time, the same lane. Move one lane to the right after each string. Ryan doings it for a nine, 35 through three. Cannibal Bowling Network's presentation of the Easter Classic, Ray's Easter Classic, Lita Lanes, National Anchor Greg Gouillard on another feed as well, doing all 20 strings on one lane. I'll be roving around all night with the top leaders the rest of the way through. We'll interview the winner at the end of the night. St. Cyr with an eight drop, five of the nine. Drago, left-hander, crossing over. Two, five, seven. Aaron, five, nine, would to possibly help. Could be a tricky. Half left if you do. Could scoot around it. This is for a spare. He got it. Who needs the wood? Sharpshooter. 38, the ball through four. Drago wraps around the five. Good try. Thought he had it. Hit his object. The name of the game. Ryan nine, 44 through four, four is wild. To our right, Joey List of the freight train, the blue shirt, the headband. 10 of the ball to start his 14th. Our coverage on 19 and 20. Aaron just missed right. One, two, four, seven, nine, two falls. The one falls, now it's the four, seven, nine, three pieces to potentially get a spare. Drago, 4-2 split. Fifth box, 14th string from Nashua. He doesn't know what he's doing. He hasn't been to his truck in like, at least now. St. Cyr, got it! The ball slow motion, the 4-7. The way he drew it up, gets a laugh out of that one. 55 half plus one, Drago. On the head pin, takes on the one and the eight. Two, four, six, ten. Ryan, object pin again for a seven. 51 half, deserve better. A lot of object hits. Here's Aaron Fontaine. Unofficially in the top three, coming to this 14th. Penny results from the 13th string. His fresh Nick Cefaletto, captain of the Metro team, Metro Ball of the Premier Mass, Friday Night Pro League. Stopped out four on that first ball. Aaron Fontaine is the whole approach. Off to the left, he gets seven. Big at eight as the head pin falls. The Queen Boyd, the Star Trek character, seven of nine, Wood coming out of play. To a 163 a couple weeks ago on the Friday Night Pro League, subbing in. Thank you. Tilted more? Yeah, tilted like downwards more. Aaron, good try, won't go. Is that better? Much better, Paul. Freshy seven. It's not my setup, that's why, I'm not used to it. Yeah, much better. Fontaine gets a nine to start their 14th. Samantha, help me out with the technology. Thank you, Samantha. Right, Using Bob Lee's it's iPad. It's like it's <laughs> Ryan Drago checking the scoreboard. Freshie, beautiful ball. Splits two and two. Two, four, six, ten. 
14 swing of 20. Handle from Bowling Network on YouTube. Always free, never charge. Hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends to do so also and your family. Fontaine, the half Worcester, two in the eight. Aaron St. Tip put his $1 lemon drop money in. Candle fits for cancer. Thank you, Aaron. Every dollar helps. Fontaine, 147. Nick gets a nine. 16 through two. Fontaine, eight. 18 through two. Alan Blanchard, thanks. I got here a little bit late after church and family functions. Got it after 7.15 or so. Coverage on the 14th to 20th string. Al Blanchard, a class act. Good team, wow. In Cape, Cape Cod area. Great guy. Thanks for watching, Al. Others? Freshie joins the half Worcester party. Aaron writes it again. One. Two, four, seven, ten. It's a post. Freshie, top south of six. That would be a lemon drop for the first ball. Seven standing. Fontaine, nice shot. Comes back to the ten. Hits it. It wants to go. Another piece of wood falls to the pit. That close. What a try. Freshie will take a seven. 23 through 3, slow start here in the 14. Aaron 9, 27 through 3. Scott Herbert, thank you very much. Scott Herbert, give us the scores here so far. <clears throat> All right, we have after 12 strings. 13, right? Or 12? This is after 12. The 13th hasn't been posted. Okay, through 12. We're in the 14th now. Through 12. Yeah. Through 12, we have Austin Barnes leading with 1,675 for an average of 139. Jeff Surrett is second with 1,600, average 133. Josh Daly is third, 1,586 pins, an average of 132. Aaron Fontaine is fourth, 1,575 for an average of 131. Nick Leach is fifth, 1,495 pins, average 124. Nick Lacrosse, close behind, three pins, 1,492 pins, an average also of 124. Joey Lister is seventh, 1,478 for an average of 123. Sean Baker closely followed, 1,473 pins for an average of 122. Ryan Cox, 1,467 pins, an average of 122. And Jimbo Ayotte is also tied with Ryan at 1,467, an average of 122. Thanks, Scott Herbert. Get the update. I appreciate that. I I'll be going so. around, roving around, I will do so. covering Austin Barnes for our next string or two. Thank you, thank you, Scott Herbert. Appreciate it. See, that's through 12. We didn't. I've got the 13th string yet. Last box, fresh year 10, 33 through four. Aaron eight, 35 through four. Fifth box, 14th string. Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire, Easter Classic, Spread Eagle. What a try! Just missed it. 1% conversion rate, almost got it. Leads up the two. Heck of a try. Freshy, nice out. 10. Just a 43 half. Aaron trying to clean it up, missed right for a nine. Just a 44 half. Back to the top of the order. 14th string. Billy Bloom, 58 in the ball on lane 20. Crystal Frenny, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Thanks yeah. a lot. Going well. Just donating the high single. For cancer. Thank you very much. Donating for that. I just hit the high single for 151 last string. So congratulations. Uh, we just hopefully well. see you on April 14th. French King for the Candle Fitz Cancer fundraiser. I'm going to try and make it out there. Yeah. Right. It's awesome. always a goal. Thank you. All right, Crystal Frenny, great bowler. Put a few dollars in. We got four dollars raised for Candle Fitz Cancer. Eight dollar helps. Thank you very much, Chris. And Aaron Saint Cyr. Oh, Long cross. No oh, strike. Look like a big lead, but he gets all 10 to go. Strike on spare, big 20. 
68 half, 78 plus two through six. Billy is blooming. So again, Austin Barnes at the 12, first, Jeff Sred second, Josh Tilly third, Aaron Fontaine fourth, Nick Leach fifth, Nick Norcross sixth, Joey Lister the freight train seventh, Sean Baker eighth, Ryan Cox ninth, Jimbo Ayotte tenth. Not including the 13th string. Still waiting for the official results. And Scott's got them after this box. We'll go over that after this. We'll have Scott read them off to you. Give Scott some love here. Billy Bloom on a strike. Over two in a row, but splits three and one. Chris Lafrenia, spare five. 58, half, open now, not on the mark. Open in Canada means you're filling the mark in the States. It means you're not on a spare strike. Billy six on the strike. 84 through six. Lafrenia nine, 67 through six. Boom, nice out, nine. 93 through 7. He's a box ahead. Oh, Scott Herbert, what do you got for us? All right, we this have. Let's do 13 strings now. This is 13 strings. We have an update. Austin Barnes is still leading with 1787. Second, Jeff Surrett, 1722. Seven pins behind Jeff is Aaron Fontaine, who moved up a slot. He's at 1715. Josh Daly, 1693. Nick Norcross, 1616. Only one pin behind Nick is Nick Leach with 1615. Three pins behind him is Sean Baker with 1612. Then we have Jimbo Ayotte in number eight. Number nine, Joey Lister. And finally, number 10, Ryan Cox. Who's that, who's, that number, who, who's that number 11 guy from Canada? Number 11 guy from Canada is the one and only Calvin Locke, right. 1578. He was the run up last year. Thank you, Scott Herbert. Right. You get every string, that'd be great. I don't, Back to live action. Three balls on the lane. Billy Bloom, the diamond. Chops out one. Chris Lafrenier, nine in the last box, 76 through seven. Bloom's 93 through seven. 93, yep, through seven. Billy trying to clean it up. Gets two for nine. 102. Make it 101. Should be 102, they're gonna fix that. 102 through 8, they fixed it. Oh, what a shot by Lafrenia. It just missed a 7 somehow. Great try. Looked good, didn't it? Happy Easter, David Gowan. Thanks for watching from Oshawa, Ontario, Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Great to see you. Chris at 9, 85 through. I came here for the 14th string on. Billy Bloom trying to get finished strong. Very good bowler, over year in, year out. In the pocket, seven, five, eight, ten, right corner, wood to possibly help. Lafrenier, left side, six, decent wood between the one, three, and back is the nine, right corner, ten. Piece of wood in front of the ten also, makeable spare chance. Bloom for a spare, nothing doing. Lafrenia with the wood, missed the object pin. Wendy Hill, thanks for watching. Billy doinks it for a seven, 109 through nine. Chris missed for a nine, 94 through nine. Wayne Petty, thanks for watching. Happy Easter, Michael Steve. Thank you very much. Got here early evening. The last six strings. Billy Bloom, six, one, two, seven, eight. We'll be roaming around for the leaders throughout the rest of the night. Lafrenia, beautiful ball, crossing over, eight. Six right, seven left. That would could help. Bloom for a spare. Yes, what a shot. Not an easy one. 119 of the ball in the 10th. Lafrenia trying to kick it over. Oh, too bad. Right beyond the seven. 
Norcross just threw a strike to our right. 76 plus two on the seventh. The front of your nine, our coverage. 103, 14th string. A strike for 129 for Billy Bloom, only 20. But only a half list of a two. 12 beats a 10, 121, 14th string. Number three seed today is right now third in the rankings, Aaron Fontaine after Ryan Drago on the left. The rock star Aaron Saints here on the right. He's working on two marks in a row. 55 and a ball through five. Ryan Drago 51 through five. And a spare eight in the second. St. Cyr just missed right, steals nine. Would have been Julian if that had been fell last. Made famous by Dave Julian in Canada in the 80s. Made a bunch of those. Name kind of stuck. Big nine of the fill. 64 half. Ryan, seven, nine, 10. Aaron, way right. Three piece of Ryan to help. Try to spin it over and can't get to the 10. Devin, thanks for watching from New Hampshire. Aaron, 9, 73 through 6. Drago, 9, 60 through 6 at the minimum. We're in the 14th string of 20. Live coverage throughout the rest of the night. We'll be roaming around for our leaders throughout the night. We're going to try to catch up next string with number one, Austin Barnes. Greg Gouillard covering that right now on our other YouTube feed. feed. Greg doing all 20 strings today, parking out on one lane. Aaron parallel pins. Drago, six, one, three, six, nine. Both in their eighth box. Aaron Fontaine, Freshie, Nick Cefaletto will wrap it up the 14th. Then six strings to see who will win the Easter Classic. St. Cyr, nice shot, he got it! Nice shot! 83 and a ball through seven. Drago off the wall, can't get the six to go. That looked good too. Left-hander, nine, 69 through seven on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition. Again, always free, never a charge. Tell your friends and family to sign up. Unlike Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, we don't charge you a nickel, a dime, or a penny. Never a charge. Please subscribe to Candleton Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. Over, 20, over 1,000 videos. 1,000 plus videos of climbing, including the Hall of Fame edition 2023 class that Greg Guillard put out this weekend. Great job, Greg. Aaron, seven on the spare. 90 through seven. Chris, seven fill for the spare, not six. For another one, just missed the six. It's nine, three in a row. Drago, nice ball, these are the 10. They're the close call. Aaron, nine, Brian a 10. Ryan 79 through eight. Aaron St. Cyr 99 through eight. Anchor Bowl is up next. Anthony. Okay, we got an update from Anthony Cameron here. Anthony? Yeah, Jeff Sorrett here, 112. He was in second place, 65 pins behind Austin. That's coming 14 this string. string, right? Yes. Okay. All right, nice ball. He got the seven to go, spare. 109 in the ball in the ninth. Drago at the half, Worcester, now a 3-2 split. So Jeff Sorrett a 112, right? Correct, right, yep. Aaron's in third, and you're watching him right here. Yep, yep, yep. thank you. Thanks, Anthony Karen. Riley's a banana split for a six. Where's Casey McCool? 85 through 9. 
John Wynn, thanks for watching. The rock star on the cross of a strike. Took down the king last, a big 20. 119 through 9, 129 plus 2 in the 10th. 5 1 split for Drago. Needs a mark to get to the Century Club. Not going to be easy. Chops out two. Best he can do is 95. Nice out, nine. All four, 10. Nice shot. That's a wild 10. 10 don't get enough love. 95. String. Aaron, first ball on the strike. Dropping his 14 string, 1369. Try to get to 139. You get a 64 half. Takes out two for an eight fill, 137. Excellent 14 string for Aaron St. Cyr out of Academy Lane's Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. And our final bowls for the 14 string. We're going to move down to cover Austin Barnes, a few lanes down after this. Aaron Fontaine coming in. This string third, third right now, coming in third. Nick Zephaletta Freshy, the groom to be, only 20. Beyonce Samantha here watching, Sam. Nice lady, always supporting him in bowling. Freshy of 49 half so far. 43 half, rather. 5, 7, 10. Aaron, 44 half. 1, 3, 6, wants a big finish. Freshy, good try, got two of the three. Nick Norcross to right, just threw a 121 string. Aaron, object pin, won't carry the head pin. Three of the six. Freshy, 10, 53 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Aaron, nine, is 53 through six. Six strings after this. Great to with you all. Nico, thanks for watching also. Wendy, again, thank you. Freshy crossing over. Nine. Six pin remains. Aaron Lee, 19. Nice pocket shot. Takes down the 10. Two, four, seven. Great chance here. Two and three pinners without wood, about 51% success rate without wood. Stats by Canopy Bowling Network. Freshy missed it. Fontaine, spare. Right between the two four pocket. Needed that one, 63 and a ball through seven. Freshy, the Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 63 through six, I mean, 63 through seven. 63 through seven for Nick. Zeffaletto on lane 20, beautiful ball, but a 3-2 split, a clip wing eagle. 3-6 right, 2-4-7 left. Fontaine on the bonus. Pocket shot, drills eight. Ripped down on the 6-10 right, 4-7. Trying to go back to back. 71 through seven in the 14th of 20. Rays Easter Classic, 2024. Freshy got, trying to go two into three, gets one. Aaron for a spare, outside. Travis. Congratulations, new house. That's, that's Miranda, right? That's Miranda. Fresh year seven. Struggling, 70 through eight. Fontaine, 10, 81 through eight. Jeff, Bulldogs now, how are you doing, Jeff? I'm in 19. Bulldog, how are you doing? I'm doing the, good. The new groom. Yeah. Has the marriage helped you bowling? Uh, sure, of course it has. 
have to worry about the preparations anymore. Right, right? yeah. It's all it's all behind us. Just the honeymoon in front of Wait, us. I heard there's a bulldozer in, in Canada. I'm protesting that. You're the real bulldozer. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're allowed, they have different copyrights up there than we have. We're, I'm, I'm copyrighted. This is American copyright. Right? Yeah, exactly. Bulldozer. Yep. How'd you get the nickname, by the way? Uh, some guy named Paul Grant gave it to me. Never heard of him. Yeah, neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good luck the rest of the way, Jeff Walsh. Thank, thank 15 right. bowlers make money tonight out of 102 bowls a sellout today. Freshy five and the seven with Wood, doinks it. Difficult string. 78 through nine, Fontaine grabs two, nine, 90 through nine. Final box gonna move down after this. So we, you, you see our, our camera being moved around, the iPad being moved around, so bear with us as we, as we transition to different lanes to cover the top bowlers. Freshy, the Canadian setback shot, five, six, ten. And the world's, they taught me that nickname. What a finals that was. You missed the finals from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, A-plus Accounting Family Academy, a match of a lifetime, Fontaine, nine. It's the four, four pin for a spare. Fresh with wood, can't get the 10 to go. And the best he can do now is 88. And it doesn't, it doesn't come up too in the zone now. Austin, what lane you on next string? I'm going to cover you next. Aaron missed that chance. Doesn't miss too many of those. His grandfather Tom Olster in the Hall of Fame. Freshy 9, 87. Disappointing 14th string. Aaron gets the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. 10, even 100 string. We're going to move down to cover number one seed. Right now, through 13 strings, Austin Barnes. Paul Grant live, Lee Lanes, National New Hampshire, Gray's Easter Classic. Can you bring the table down to help with the table? Can you move the table down for me? No, no, move this down, this one. You're not staying, Paul? Oh, you're up now? You're up now? Yeah, yeah we're coming to the next. We go by low points, right? That's what Bob said. You someone to cover. Someone to, want me to cover you one string? I haven't done much today. Justin Skelly, 150 string, awesome. All right, we're going to move down. Okay, one second. Okay, right, want to hold this for a second? Well, stay with us. We're going to move right down to lane 24, I believe, for Austin Barnes, so bear with us. Now. Let's grab one here for now. 
The chair is way on the other end. Yeah, I'll just get the one over here. I'll get the one over here. All right, we're going to cover Jeff Thread here on lane four. Sam D'Agostino on lane three. Jeff Thread was number two coming in the, the, third, the 14th string. We're in the 15th now. He has a nine through one. Sam is spare six to start. Surrett gets a spare, 19 the ball through two. Hey, can we move this just a little bit that way? Yeah. Is that down? That's a box stuff. All right, let's get situated here. Okay, now we're back live. Here we go. Dave Barber, always give me grief. Look, he'll get his day. He'll get his day. <laughs> All right. Come on, Dave. Come on. All right, Jeff Threat, number two after 13 strings. We're we'll waiting for the, fifth, the 14 string results. Scott Hurt will get those. We'll post those as soon as we find out. Jeff Threat on lane four. Spare five, 24 through two, a 10, 34 through three, in the 15th of 20 strings. Sam D'Agostino, spare seven, nine, nine, 35 through three. Surrett, beautiful ball, strike! Four, 10, go down together in harmony. 44 plus two to four, he's been out, lights out of late. 4 2 split for D'Agostino. Just won five Easter Classics already. Looking for number six, he's got a chance. We'll get to see Sean Baker, third. Mike McIntosh, 3.0, up next after Sam D'Agostino on lane three. Dave Barber after Jeff Thread on lane four, followed by Matt Harnett, world champion Matt Harnett. Hey Matt, Surrett hits the pocket. Look at this leave. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Working on a strike on lane four. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing fantastic. How's it feel to be a five-time world champion? Oh, uh, you know, it, it feels. I'm telling you, it's the wild shirt you bought. Middle of the week, you guys are struggling. It feels pretty darn good. Yeah, you got yeah. more wild. Wild shirts are going away now, so we have Kenneth Fitzgerald Cancer shirts next. I'll, I'll buy those too. If they help, if they help with more championships, I'm in. That's all right. <laughs> uh, Justin Good, he's gonna he's gonna come through and win this. You keep watching. Well, Tim Tim Matero said that if you didn't win the uh, you get three four hundred in a row, which he didn't do, I don't think the other night, he won't win. So if he wins, you can tease Tim Matero. Yeah, he's got that Triceratop shirt on. You can't count him out. Seven in the strike, fifty one through four, nine in the box, sixty half. D'Agostino. 9, 51 half. Matt Harnett, how are you doing so far today? Oh, it's a, it's a long day. It's a, it's a good day. It's are a long in, day. Are you in the top 15? I think I'm, I think I'm on that bubble right there. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, how, you, how are your Canadian friends doing today? They're doing pretty good too. But how, how many in the running so far? There's a, there's a couple now up there, which is, which I love to see, right? But this guy right here, Jeff Surrett, he's going to win. I don't know why they let Canadians in. <laughs> All right, Matt. Good luck. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Yep. All right, here's Dave Barber, future Hall of Famer, as well as Jeff Surrett. Here's Mike McIntosh, 3.0, doing a great job at Academy Lane's Pub 125 every Wednesday during the bowling season, 3.30 p.m., an hour and a half to two hours of instructional bowling, just $10 a person, shoes included. Great job, Mike McIntosh, 3.0, Josh Daly and others in the hole. This is the 15th string of 20, Rays Easter Classic, 2024, Lita Lane's National New Hampshire on Canopin Bowling Network. Great to be with you. Barbara, 10. McIntosh, nice out. It's a nine. Uh, wait for the scoreboard, Nico. As soon as we get the printout, we'll read about you. So we're on the other side of the house now. We're bouncing around. 
Okay, beautiful ball, but a clip wing eagle. Justin Skelly threw a 150 from the 14th string. McIntosh on the crossover, Diamond. 27% success rate for Class A Bowls. I would all stats by Canop and Bowling Network. Dave takes the three. I thought he'd go two and a three. Some do, some don't. Mac for a spare, right in the middle. Five and a six. Dave chops up the object pin. Nine, 19 through two. Mac gets a nine, 18 through two. Strep, he's the whole approach. Uh, Barbara, he's the whole approach. After Jeff Strep, bowled a 60 half. Decent wood. Three right, two, four, seven left. Matt crossing over again. The five, seven, ten. And that's Susie Special. Who made it in the Sunday Pro League an extra a couple seasons ago on a spare, for a spare without wood. So I call it the Matt Susie Special. Barbara leads up the two and the seven. Mac, a former 128 bowler at the old Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Oh, nice try. Dave, field goal for an eight, 27 through three in the 15th. Mac gets a 10, 28 through three. Get the word up on this great game at Cannon Bowling. Get a youth program going, folks. The youth is our future. Cantlip and Gift Cards, a great way to do it. Support your local bowling centers all season long with Cantlip and Gift Cards. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation coming up soon. Anniversaries, birthday gifts, of course, the holidays. Never, always, always a good time for a Cantlip and Gift Card. Never a bad time. Each with eight, Mac, four in the 10. Dave, two in the four, spare chance. And he got it. 37 in the ball through four. Josh Jalen, the running, he was number three last year. He's off to our left in lane two in the green shirt. You can see lane two in the upper hand of your scoreboard, top left. He's always fun to watch, always up there in the running. He's got a spare seven, 53 through four. Back to our action, Mac. Oh, what a try! Spun it to the East Coast, wouldn't go. Barbara on the spare, quarter whist, yikes. Took out the two pin, 11 beats a 10. 38 through four, frustrating shot. Max, it picks it up, 10. 38 through four. Thank you. Tim Baker, I just want to give you some credit here for doing the Canfords, new Canfords for Cancer shirts and hats. We sell so many of them. I know I push you a lot to make them because the demand is so high right now, doing so many fundraisers the next month and a half. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Oh, my pleasure. Um, come out and get them whenever you can. Hats, shirts, everything. I'm going to work 24-7 as much as I can on my off time to finish them up. I so know I drive you crazy on the demand, but yeah, thank you, you for do. doing that. Hey, you know, we're trying to do a good thing here, you know? I know, I know. And, and now that I'm done with some other Easter stuff, I can get working on those. Uh, how's it feel to be married to a Hall of, future Hall of Famer of Caleb and Bowler? Oh, Sean I, I mean, he definitely will sh should be first ballot. Um, I'm trying to gather all the information I can so that I can submit him for the next ballot, hopefully. First ballot all the way. I hope so. He will. He's he's one awesome bowler still. At oh, what a shot for McIntosh. 3.0 is spare. Every time I talk about Caleb for a cancer, somebody gets a spare or a strike. Go. See? So keep talking about yeah, it. No, really. <laughs> Seems that way a lot of time. What a spare. 48 half plus one for Mike McIntosh, 3.0 on the upgrade. Dave Robert, 9, 47 half. Here's Matt Harnett, world champion from Academy, uh, A Plus Accounting, defeated Fenway Academy, a match for a lifetime on Canlifton Bowling Network on YouTube. The 3710 with a piece of wood to help. A um, spectacular shot in the last box and got the big fill to win it. On lane four, left side six, one wobbling three, seven ten. Hall of Famer Sean Baker on lane three. Four two split.
Sean, always in the running. And that picks it up, spare. Likes the hard ones. Oh, wow, what a shot for picking a match. I can do it, you can do it. 10 of the ball for the third bowl is. Scott, we got the Scott Herbert. After this box, we'll give you the scores of the winners, both on spares right now, Scott. After this box, please. An update through, four, that's through 15 strings? 14 strings. 14 strings. Through 14 strings. We're in the 15th here. Eight for Harnett, three in the six. 18 through one. Baker's turn. Crossing over, spins down nine, a wiggle to nine. 19 through one. Boy, these balls are fun to watch, aren't they? Harnett for two in a row. He's got it. 28 in the ball through two. Baker's turn, he gets it. Duke it out side by side, 29 the ball through two. Well, this would be a great money match, these two guys. Yeah. All right, let's give it up to you real quick. All right. The <clears throat> All right, we have uh, Austin Barnes still leading, 1894. 60 pins ahead of Jeff Surrett, followed by Aaron Fontaine at 1815, Josh Daly at 1812, Sean Baker, 1752. Nick Leach, 1737, is tied with Nick Knockross. Jimbo Ayotte comes next at 1728. Joey Lister, 1698, tied with Ryan Cox. Calvin Locke is still in 11th place, and we have last year's winner, Tim Douglas, is 23rd, I believe. All right, All right. thank you, Scott, for helping. I appreciate it, Scott. All right, waiting for the lane to three to reset. This is Kenneth Bowling now with presentation of the 2024 Rays Easter Classic. Leader Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire, 36 lanes, plus Leaders Lighthouse across the way. 12 more lanes there. Book your birthday parties, corporate events. They have open mic nights, Sunday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Karaoke every Friday and Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Leader Lanes, Tegler's Den, Nash, New Hampshire. We're the 15 string. Both balls on spares, waiting for lane three to reset. They do have one lane open in case the lane breaks down on each side. 34 lanes out of 36 being used. Three balls a lane, a record 102 bowlers, a sellout. There was a long waiting list today as well. And some jumped on. We'll have a presentation of the winner at the end of the match also. And we're done tonight, later on. And we'll be roaming around the leaders the last five strings or so. All right, again, waiting for lane delay. Uh, the lane get fixed up here, so a slight delay. So, Kim, you've had some pretty good accomplishments yourself as a bowler. No, I haven't. You've won some titles, though, national titles, international I titles. I have, I have, but it's been mixed teams, or um, I had one ladies international, two mixed teams, but mostly team. Oh, and I have a world record. Yeah. Sure. Uh, a, ma a mass state worker. Sure that. I know. It was with a... Um, Saturday, we used to have a ladies pro league on Saturday afternoons, and it was with Melissa Ricci, at the time Casey, Mario Johnson, Beth Powers, myself, and Paula Pretty, and we just, we we got the record, so it was awesome. And there's a pro series coming back maybe next year, too. I'm hoping so, and then we're also, um, Melissa Ricci, um, I spoke to her yesterday, we're talking about trying to get a new, um, either Friday night or Saturday afternoon women's league together as it was awesome. 15 awesome. years ago. All right, whatever you help you out, let me know. I will. All right, thanks, Kim Baker. Back to live action, both on spares for the second time in a row to start the 15th. Matt, three, six right, four, seven left. Spare eight, spare six, 34 through two. Baker, spare nine, spare two, 31 through three, through two. 31 through two, make it. We're in the third box now. Two great bowlers side by side. Sean Dion, what a clutch bowler you are, 169 in that, that match. The last thing to help them win it, you get a 160, you lose. Arnett chops out one on the right. For a seven, Baker at 10. Matt is at 41 through three. Sean also 41 through three. Two of the best bowls in the game today, still. Bowling at a high level. Sean Hall of Fame eligible at 50 years old. 
next time around. Matt Hunter is sure, first bout Hall of Fame down the road. Beautiful ball, can't get the 10 to go, will it? It does. Wobbling two, four, seven. Baker, crossing, oh, nice strike! Wow, what a shot! Bombs away, baby! 51 plus two through four here in the 15th. Harnett, another spare. 51 of the ball through four, look at them go. Rock em, sock em, robots. Boy, I'm dating myself, you know what that means. Thank you, Wendy. I call like I'm on your team. Harnett on a spare, Baker on a strike. Half Worcester, ouch, two. Each got one on the mark. 53 through four. Baker trying for a double strike. Setback shot, five, six, ten. Short to our Canadian friends up north, the setback. Doesn't go too often. Harnett trying to work out of it. Good ball, just missed a seven. Always in every shot, never gives up. Preferred that in the first ball. Baker, good try, nine in the strike. 60 through four. 15th string of 20. Harnett, rear miss for a nine, 62 half. Baker, 10, 70 half. Back to the top of the order. Paul Grant Live, Lee Lane, Snatch New Hampshire on Candlepin Bowling Network. Please subscribe free, never a charge. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. Get your friends and family to sign up also. Semi Pro to Pro Action. Over 1,000 videos of climbing. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. And please support Candlepins for Cancer via Vemo. Obviously, no Vemo in Canada. Jeff Thread, top of the order. 60 half gets three. Sam D'Agostino, by Trisha here in attendance, he gets six. One, two, four, seven. Stretch trying to work out of it. Yeah, Audrey Pin won't go. One of the nine. Sam hooked it, got three of the four. Lee's up number one. Nothing like the great game of Candlepin Bowling. Stretch, a rare seven. 67 through six. D'Agostino, 10, 61 through six. Mike McIntosh, Sean Baker wrap up that side after Jeff Surrett, Dave Barber, and Matt Harnett. What a lineup that is. As of right now, you can pick your own team, your own, not team, but your own bowls on your lane. There's talk of doing random draws in the future. It's always been this way. Surrett drills nine. Guarded by the king, the five. This piece of wood. D'Agostino crossing over, three, nine, 10. Wood to possibly help behind. Red. Can he get it? He does! 77 of the ball through seven. D'Agostino missed the Andre pin to three. Strep was number two. So we may cover him for a while. Aaron Austin Barnes will get later on also. He's number one. We're going to be roving around. Sean Baker is seventh after 14 strings. Surrett pounds the strike zone. Nine again. Same thing, the five. This time, no wood. Go right at it. Clean shot. 72% is the average conversion rate for pro balls. That wood's the easiest pin to pick up for all pin standing. Stats by Kenneth Mulling Network. And he got it. Spear nine, spear nine. 86 through seven. 96 in the ball through eight. Agostino, 4-2 split, just missed number one. 4-7 left. Field goal, seven box, 78 through eight. Threat on another spare. Three spares and a strike in the string so far. Nine again for the third time in a row. That'd be a strike in a nine pin tournament. Would touch the four. 105 through 8. D'Agostino for the Julian strike. Hits the head pin, won't go. For another one. Missed it.
tough break. D'Agostino, he missed his. Surrett wasn't there for nine. 114 through nine. D'Agostino's changeup pitch for nine, 87 through nine. Ball too? No, he doesn't. Do I ball? Yeah, I used to ball. I don't. They're both retired. Good guy. Yes. All right, final box for them. Ten boxes after this. They're up about 15 strength. Five more to go. Who will win it this year? Pocket shot, six, a check mark for Sorette. D'Agostino, one, three, six, spare chance. He's a mark for the Century Club. Jeff and Mark's getting the 130s. Great shot, he got it, another one. 124 on the ball in the 10th. Spear for D'Agostino off the wall. 97 on the ball in the 10th. Yeah, we're roaming around, I'm roaming around. Yeah, it was a copyright violation, people swearing, playing music in the background. So I got a new account now. Put the red shirt on instead of the blue shirt. Red seven, nice string. Actually a six fill, my mistake, six fill. 130, 15 string, not bad. D'Agostino six, 103, 15 string. Dave Barber, 47 through five, had a quarter whistler fill in the fourth on his spare. Mike McIntosh, 3.0 on lane three on his spare. Now, why do you get Mike, Mike 3.0? When I met him, I said, oh, he's a nice guy. And I heard a podcast, he was very violent as a bowler. Threw sneakers to the pins, took fits all the time. So I called him Mike McIntosh 2.0. And this year, he won an upgrade. So we call him Mike McIntosh 3.0. And now you know the rest of the story. Paul Harvey. 3 9 10. Barbara Wood to help. Mac on the crossover again. Takes down seven. 3 9 7. 62 half. Barber for a spare. Missed the optic pin. Mack missed his optic pin to three. Put out of play. Mack, nice 10 with the wood. 65 through 6 on Canopin Bowling Network. Executive Bruce of Bob Lee. Follow the Friday Night Pro League game of the week every Friday night. This Friday night scheduled to be number three seed Hingham, number five seed unofficially Academy 3 at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, April Mass. 7.30 scheduled start time on YouTube on Canopin Bowling Network, week 30 of 35. Playoffs May 21st, Sunday, 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube on Canopin Bowling Network. Dave gets a 10, 57 through 6. Hall of Fame biographies are up. The videos from the Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Wyndham, New Hampshire at the Castleton. Great job, Greg Gouillard, putting those up. Watch all the individuals, their interviews and their speeches. Live on Ken uh, on Ken Mowing Network on YouTube. Max, spare chance for the 5. Bouncy ball, missed it right. When you bounce it, take something off. Now Davis Woods left that two, trying to go to the three six ten, and he carried it over. The broom is out, and he got it. Sixty seven the ball through seven, Mac at ten a nine nine make it seventy four through seven. It wasn't there. Gary yeah, Reno, thanks so much. We're gonna check out the bowlers that are in the top three. David Gowans, if you're eligible, you need someone to get you nominated for the Hall of Fame. Someone must nominate you to get in. Mac half Worcester. Day three in the spare. 70 through seven. These are the one, two, five. The spares are one and three in the string. Very unusual. High single, 208. Runs the Pro Series, does a great job. Max, I work out of it. Good bid. David, 10, 80 through 8. 
Mac with a very unpopular 5 7 10. Wood must stop by International Cannonball Association Schools, ICBA, before you throw the ball. Now it does. He delivers. And he gets almost all three. He gets a nine. 83 through 8. String 15 of 20. Anchor ball is up next. Matt Harnett, Sean Baker. Sean a 70 half. Matt Harnett a 62 half. Not on marks. Josh Daly to our right is 111 to 9. To our left, a green shirt. You see him on lane two. He's been throwing the ball. Dave with a 3 5 6 triangle. For a spare. No. It is object. Oh, Daly, just a nice shot for a spare. A tough shot on lane two is Wood. He's at 121 of the ball in the 10th. Mac takes down eight. Two in the seven. Baby split. Dave 10, 90 through nine. Top 15 get paid. McIntosh, Andre Payne won't carry. Robert, nice ball. Four pin rearranged to the five. Mac and nine, 92 through nine. Daily a strike on spare, or rather eight on a spare, rather to our left on lane two. And he ends up with a one, check that in a second. Josh Jelly gets a 129, 15 string. We might cover him next string. We'll see. Dave, that won't go. Tough sledding. Mac, right in the pocket, off the wall, seven, eight. As the seven finally falls, six, 10, spare chance. Dave, 10, 100, 15 string. Gonna cover Cole Fry, Charlie Collins, Josh Dillon, Charlie Collins. Next string here. McIntosh 10. Actually, spare. There's a ball behind, so 102 in a ball in the 10th. My bad, spare. So we're gonna stay with San D'Agostino, Mike McIntosh, Sean Baker. We'll have Cole Fry from Maine, Charlie Collins will terminate Josh Daly next string. For our 16th string. And after that, we'll roll around based on the leaderboard. McIntosh on the bonus, seven. Here's with a 109, 15th string. Five blocks to go. Sean Baker, Matt Harnett. Drop, four drop there. Sean Baker, 70 half, no surprise. Just missed the pocket. 1, 3, 6, 10. 36% success rate on four horsemen without wood. For Class A bowl of stats again by Kenneth Moy Network. Arnett just missed number one. Baker won't carry the 6, 10. Mac gets a 10, 72 through six. Sean gets the 10 to go, 80 through six. Five more strings after this to wrap it up. Ray's Easter Classic 2024, Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire on Cannell Pin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. 1,000 videos, Charlie Collins hit that 1,000 video last month or so in Millis, put on a show. Harnett reverse triangle, five, nine, six, left to right. That wood could help. Baker going right to middle, left side four, four two split. 
One of the best bowlers in Maine, Cole Fry, next string. Rising star Charlie Collins and Josh Dealey, of course, are next string. We'll keep an eye on Jeff Sred also as they move to lane five. Harnett, got it, spare! Not an easy one, 82 to ball through seven. Great guy, funny guy too. Baker, oh wow, what a shot that was for a spare. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. 90 to ball through seven. Going into the seventh box, going to the eighth box, both on spares, 15th string. Can't wait for lane reset on three. Slight delay, but just a moment. We'll get results as soon as we can once they print out after the string. Number one, Austin Bonds with 203 earlier today. Jeff Stratt was second. Aaron Fontaine third. Josh Daly, I believe, was fourth. Thanks to Scott Herbert for checking those stats for us. Bobby Joe. Again, waiting for Lane to reset. We'll start in a moment. <laughs> Arnett, beautiful ball, strike! Six goes last. Spare and strike, a big 20. 92 through seven, 102 plus two in the eighth. Baker, right side, seven, one, two, seven, on the stair, 97 through seven. Mike, Mike, seven, Phil. For another one, off the wall, oh, no! On. Tough break. That won't count in the channel, no good, nine, 106 through eight. Two blocks to go, five strings after this. Mark, Matt Harnett, 102 plus two. Had a spare eight, spare six to start, and a spare two in the fourth box. Now a spare strike. One for a double on lane four. Looks good, but a two on split. Two, four left, six on the right. Baker drills the pocket. He only gets six somehow. What was wrong with that shot? 10 right corner, 4 7 8 triangle on the left. Harnett trying to kick it over somehow. Oh, he got it! Wow, what a shot for a spare! No surprise! Spare strike, spare! Baker, object pin won't go. 7 8 10. Matt, 112 through 8, 122, and a ball in the ninth. Baker, a tough 7. 113 through 9. What a performance by Matt Harnett again. <laughs> Five-time world champion here in Nashville. Beautiful ball again, spins nine. 131 through nine, kingpin for another one. Baker, half Worcester, ouch, three in the nine. And a 70 half. Find out for another one. Missed it. He's at 140 right now. Baker, nice bid. Wood bounce between the five and the eight. Harnett, all grand special. Missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. 10. Nothing wrong with the 141. 15 string from Matt Harnett from Canada. Baker 10, 123. 15 string, five more to go. We'll keep the air live. We'll go one lane to the right. We'll have Matt Harnett, Jeff Stratt to our right side. We'll cover them a little bit too. We'll try to cover three lanes this time. We'll feature three and four again. And we'll keep an eye on five for you also. As Jeff Stratt, Matt Harnett, next to the right. We'll have Josh Daly just up here next. 
Cole Fry will lead it off. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, will bowl third. Josh Kelly, we'll check that in just a moment, actually. Right, you're going, you're going. Paul Grant Live, Lee Lanes, National New Hampshire, Rays 2024 Easter Classic. Defending champion Tim the Tornado Douglas. Chris Merrill won it two years in a row. Maya, Jess Surrett's won five. He's in the running for number six today. Cole Fry will lead off. Sam D'Agostino on the right. Josh Taylor both second. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, will both third. And as soon as we get the results, we'll give you the scores and read them off to you. String 16 of 20. Matt, Matt. Underway, D'Agostino, 5-7. No wood, no luck. Cole Fry, strike! To stop the 16th. This guy's good, folks. Early 20s, a bright future. Oh, wow, what a shot for a spare. The 5-7. No wood, this time luck. 10 of the ball to stop. What a shot by Sam D'Agostino. A blistering strike by Cole Fry. A tough... 5-7 for a spare for Sam. On the bonus, head been hit, seven, make it eight. Six, seven, 18 through one. Five for a double, eight. Four in the seven, wood in front to help. Jeff Stretch leading off on lane five. You'll see the pins above lane five, below lane five. We'll get updating him. Sam trying to kick it over. Oh, so close to the seven. Fry, spare and strike. A big 20. 20 through one, 30 in the ball through two. Sam, 10, 28 through two. What a start. Dex hit a darn good bowler when he bowled regularly. Doesn't bowl much now. One, two, seven, eight, ten. Fry missed left. Six. 36 through two. Looking for three in a row on lane three. Sam with Wooden back to help. Just missed number one. Fry. Oh. Oh, he got it! Spun back to the ten! Sizzling spare. 46 in the ball through three, three in a row. The unconventional way, D'Agostino seven. 33 through three. Correction, 35 through three. 35 through three for Sam. Cole Fry, strike, spare, six, fair. No big surprise. They're running for Fenway Academy's World Championship run. Three times in the finals, no wins yet. Always up there, the last of eight plus accounting. Natural Lifetime on Kenneth Mowing Network on YouTube. Fry bounces it. Left five. 51 through three. Dags with nine. Clean shot at the 10. For a spare. He got it. Fry missed right. One, three, eight. Dags 45 and a ball through four. Fry, nice 10, perfect start. 10 spares and strikes, and came up in a perfect game. 61 through four in the 16th of 20. Stephen Harden, Steve Harden, thanks for watching. Barry Sower, thanks for watching. Spread Eagle Badags with a spare. Tough break, 49 through four, Fry. Nine to ten, has some wood to work with. Tough leave, one percent chance, object pin, nothing to show for it. Five for another mark. No, got robbed by the wood, doinked it. Sam, a seven. Five gets the ten, still perfect. 71 half. Sam D'Agostino, 56 half. Here comes Josh Daly. 
seven four hundreds this year so far in the Friday Night Pro League. Leads the league. He has been lights out all year, a different world this year. 24 years young, I believe, still. Mike McIntosh, veteran bowler on lane four. Like a former 128 league bowler. 7-10, post, seven wants to go, it does. Daly, strike bid, he's got it! On the crossover, 10 plus two to start. Travis Wallace of Canada, off to left at a spare, 18 the ball through two on lane two. Seven is still 25 through two. Jeff Serrett is a 51 half. A correction, 44 through four. On lane five, to the reverse triangle to the right. On lane five. Won't get the mark. He'll try to get the 54 somehow. Travis to our left in lane two, the black shirt. No mark in the third, 34 through three. Chris Merrill from Maine, one of the best bowlers in Maine, two-time winner. So Tim Douglas took it away last year. He's at 53 through five. Just for officially a 53 half. Mac at nine, the start is 16. Scott, print out. We'll get the update from Scott Herbert as soon as he gets the printout. Daily a thunderous strike to start the 16th. Kenneth Mulling Network's presentation of Ray's Easter Classic 2024. Lead Alliance National New Hampshire. 2 8 10. Wood to help. Daly over the double. Six. 1 3 6 in front. Eight back left. You'd update Matt Harnett to our right after this also. Mack can't get to the 10. Second ball on the strike for Daly. Oh, he got it! Right into the eight. Masterful shot. Strike, spare start. 20 through one, 30 to ball through two. Back at nine, 18 through two. Calvin Mark on the uh, to our left. Travis Wallace bowling right now. Chris Merrill is let off. Calvin Lock third. We'll try to cover the next string also for Josh Daly. For our 17th string. Balls in the running anyway. Third box, 16 string. Next shot with Travis for a spare. On our left, 53 half plus one. Knack too much, but daily, another hit been hit. Two, four, ten, so we can spin that wood over. 37 through two, over three in a row. Matt crouches down, delivers. No, can't get the eight to go. Daly for another one. Missed the object pin, the two. Nine, three in a row. Mike right on for a 10, 28 through three. Daly a 10, stays perfect. 47 through three. These balls are fun to watch, aren't they? Mac half Worcester, two of the eight. Daily how's the strike zone, eight. Whittling eight to the left, five to the right. An explosive ball, a dangerous ball. Last year's number three finisher. Mack, good ball. He's up a check mark. Daly for the mark. Splits the upright, spare. 57 the ball through four in the 16th. Got a great crowd here watching. Mack unchecks it for a 10. 38 through 4 in the 16th of 20. We'll talk to the winning bowler before we sign off, hopefully. 
It'll take a while after the 20th string is over to get the official results. Bulls in the fifth box. Mike 3.0. Right side six. One, two, four, nine. Daly, another spare. Off to the right. Four, two split. 61 through four. Not happy with that shot. He's grown a lot in his temperament the last year. Mac, good ball. Can't reach the nine this time. Daly, one, eight, six, ten, right. Southern shot made at Central Park Lanes Friday night. Friday night Pro League without Wood. Very rarely goes. Dave Roberts just picked the five and ten without Wood. For a spare. And what a shot for Daly. 10, 71 half. Mac, a 48 half. Dave Barber, 55 and a ball through five. And Harnett to our right on lane five. Off our camera to see the lanes. Here's the, the Terminator, Charlie Collins from Waltham, Mass. 23 years young. Ball and Sean Baker, the future Hall of Famer. Three balls in the lane. We'll have Calvin Locke, Chris Merrill, and Travis Wallace next string. Then we're going to roam around the last three for our top one or two bowlers. Calvin Locke gets a strike off to left of lane two. 46 plus two through four. He had a spare six to start. The two tens, he's perfect so far. And waiting for the lane to uh, wait for Waller return here. So clutch Calvin Locke in the meantime. You won't see him. You won't, you'll see him deliver his ball on lane two. Red, red shirt there. Double strike bid. He got it. Double strike. Wow. 66 plus bonus balls through five. Back to our live coverage on lanes. Three and four here in Nashua, New Hampshire. Sixteenth string, third bowlers. Matt Harnett, you can see on lane five, the ball there anyway. Sean S H A W N Baker. Strike bid nine, leads up to six. Wood rolling around. Charlie, missed left, one, three, six, ten. Baker, tailor made spare leave. No. High piece of wood sometimes can get, be tricky. Collins bounced it, three in the ten. So we results from the 15th string, the running totals from Scott Herbert. Since we get those, we'll read them off to you. Baker in nine, Collins in eight. They start their 16th. 20 string format. Thank you, Nico. Yes, free to subscribe, never a charge. We're not one of those Disney Plus or ESPN, we charge you, we don't charge a dime. No charge ever, free. Can't up the morning network on YouTube. Baker, head pin hit, pounds eight. Six to ten. Okay, right at it. Collins off to the right. Forceman plus the nine in Maine. We call it the Christie Hackboard Special. She just makes it, she said. Baker with the wood. No. Want to go right at the pins. Two missed chances. Collins, tough lead. One in five conversion rate on those shots. Got the nine. Oh, okay, Scott's got the printout. As Baker gets a 10, 19 through two. Collins, nice 10. 18 through two. Scott Herbert, what do we have so far through 15 strings? Okay, through 15, Austin Bides had a 151 to increase his lead over Jeff Surrett to uh, 81 pins. And Jeff is in second with 1964. 17 pins behind him is Aaron Fontaine in third. Josh Daly comes in fourth at 1941, followed by Sean Baker, 1875, two pins less, Jimbo Ayotte, 
followed by Nick Leach in number seven with 1860. Nick Norcross holds down eight at 1837, closely followed by Joey Lister, who was only one pin behind at 1836. And rounding out the top 10 is Matt Harnett with an 1813. All right, while we're in for the delay, why don't you run down 11 through 15, because 15 cash. Sure, 11 is Ryan Cox at 1801. 12 is Cole Frey, 1790. Cole uh, excuse me, Cole Fry. Uh, 13 also is 1798. Number 14 is Calvin Locke, three pins less than that. And in 15 is Kevin Grattan at 1787. Thank you very much, Scott Herbert. Sean Baker calls for spare three times, no dice. Tough break, could have had three in a row. No marks out of all that. Collins for a spare, he gets his to go. 28 the ball through three. Baker the Paul Grand Special, missed the second, make the third, 10. 29 through three in the 16th. Thanks for watching. Please share with your friends and family. Get them the bowl, can up and bowling, nothing like it. A sport for all ages. Baker, beautiful ball. Better chance here, two in the four. Right at it. Collins in the bonus on lane three here in Nashville, New Hampshire. Crossing over, eight. Would put the brakes on in front of the 6'10". 36 through three, Baker. This time he gets it to go. Should have been four in a row, you could say. First mark of the string, 39 the ball through four. Collins, back to back, spare. 46 in the ball through four. Another young rising star like Cole Fry, Charlie Collins, and Josh Daly. Another planet. 81 pin lead for Austin Barnes through 15 strings. Can he hang on? Baker had been hit, a 2-2 split. 45-4 on lane four. Collins, second spare in a row on lane three. Nice pocket shot, eight. Wood between the four left, eight right. Over three in a row. Spare eight, spare eight, 54-4. Baker, good try. Collins for three in a row. Missed it right. Baker in eight. 53 half. Collins nine. 63 half. Back to the top of the order. Cole Fry, 71 half. Sam D'Agostino, 56 half. Next drink, Chris Merrill, Travis Wallace, Calvin Locke. Along with Cole Fry, Josh Daly again, Charlie Collins. And after that, we'll probably the 18th string cover Austin Barnes across the lanes. Four for Sam, four for Cole. D'Agostino, good bid, can't get to the six. Cole Fry, the Augusta being special, the 1710 Sports Center. The Mark Carrier. D'Agostino 9, 64. They get 65 through 6, Cole Fry, a 7. He's at 78 through 6. Started off with a strike, spare 6, spare 5. 10, 10. Now he's not perfect for the first time. Sam crossing over, 7. 5, 9, 7 left. Wood in front. Fry crossing over. 7-9, the Star Trek character, the Queen Borg. Sam for a spare. Got it! 75 and a ball through 7 here in the 16th. Rays Easter Classic 2024. And it looks like we have a new champion this year. Austin Barnes a 203 earlier, number one right now. Has led for a long time. Travis Wallace to our left. Two spares in a row. The black shirt. 98. 98, the ball in the ninth. D'Agostino spare, 75 in the ball through seven. Cole Fry, 10, 88 through seven. 
All right, so Jeff Surrett has a, has a 99 through 8 to our right. Travis drills 9, 107 through 9. Off to our left. Jack six in the spare. 81 through 7. Fry drops 9. 7 pin. What the hell? Sam. Nice bid. He got it. Came back for the 8. Excellent shot. Fry is fair to match. What a shot by D'Agostino. Back to back spares. 91 of the ball through 8. Fry, 98. 98 and the ball in the 8th. Four spares here in the 16th. How good could this kid get? Both on spares. Sam first. D'Agostino. Pocket shot seven. Make it eight. Two in the seven. Baby split. 99 through eight. Charlie, eight go. For another one. He got it! One away the ball in the ninth. Fry missed right. Coming back for the one. Will it go? Hits it. It will not go. He had three in the spare. 101 through eight. That's the 10 to go. 118 through nine. Josh Taylor up next. 71 out with Mike McIntosh 3.0. Charlie Collins. Sean Baker will wrap up our 16th string four after that. D'Agostino on a roll. Just missed the pocket. Comes back for the one and the three. The six wants to go, holds up with the 10. Eight fill, 117 through nine. Three marks in a row, going for number four. Fry, two, four, seven. Dags for the mark for four in a row. Missed it right. Fry. He got it. The wood carried. The object pinned the two. He'll take it. 121 the ball in the 10. D'Agostino, nine. Excellent string. 126. Mike. 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 Is that nine marks, Charlie? Whole fry seven. 128. 16th string for Cole Fry for Maine. That was not a lemon drop from Mike McIntosh. Just the pin fell down. Be a lane reset. So 127. 126 officially for Sam D'Agostino. Cole Fry at 128. No surprise there. We'll see if we get next string with Josh Daly and Charlie Collins. Gavin Mock to our left. We're going to switch over for a second because he's on a double strike. We're going to switch over to Calvin Locke. The red shirt, the glasses on lane two. We'll keep it on Josh Daly and Mike McIntosh. Not on marks. Josh 71 half, Mike 48 half. Let's switch over to Calvin Locke for a moment. Over the turkey, the triple strike. Sixteen string of twenty. Show Josh Daly first. Blisters eight. Let's go to Calvin Locke here. See with the red shirt. On lane two for triple. You got eight. One to seven. Twenty-eight in that first double strike box. Sixty-four through four. Seventy-four in a ball. Daly missed that spare. Seventy-four in a ball in the fifth for Calvin Locke with an E. Missed right. Eight in the second double strike box, 82 half. Mike McIntosh has seven on that coverage. Sam, Sam, seventh Mike. Seventh Mike, not eight. Yeah. 52, right? 352, not 53. All right, let's back to live action. Calvin Lock drills eight on the left, make it nine. Nine in the last box, 91 through six. 
Mack on the spread eagle. Got two. Keep down Calvin Locke here. Again, Josh Daly going for spare in lane three. Right to left, five, eight, seven. Trying to kick it over. No. Calvin Locke going for spare. He's got it. 101 in the ball, three, seven. Josh joins it for nine. 90 through seven. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Josh a nine. Okay. Keep an eye on Calvin Locke for now. He's on a roll. Let's keep it there with Josh Daly and Calvin Locke. Is Calvin Locke on the spare. Drill seven. Got the four seven to go down. 108 through seven. Three, six, ten. Chance for another one. Had a 206 in the world. ICC singles. In Moncton last year. And it's fair. <laughs> One eighteen of the ball through eight. McIntosh shots out the four. Haley one three four seven. He got it. What a shot for a spare. One hundred in the ball through eight. Two great balls side by side. Back to Calvin Locke. He gets nine again. 127 through eight. We'll see him next string with Chris Barrell and Travis Wallace. On a cold fry, Josh Daly, Charlie Collins. Another one. Spare. 137 in the ball through nine. Back in Josh, 10 last, nine last box, 72 through eight. Flipping Eagle, Punch the City. Daly, 100 in the ball on the spare on lane three. Beautiful ball, eight, five, will not go down. 10 right, so we can get this somehow. On the fill, eight, 108 through eight. Calvin Locke, seven on his spare. Two, four, eight. 144 through nine. Daly, try and kick it over. Good try, go to Calvin Locke. Put in the spare. He got it! Another one! 154 to ball in the 10th, Masterful! Daily nine. 117 through nine. Lock on a roll. Missed right, four. Back to earth. 158. 16 string, 16 string, 158 for Calvin Locke. Back to our live coverage on three and four. Give him off Calvin Locke next string. Mac three, four, seven, eight. Daily left hander, spin seven, one, nine, ten. Mac for a spare, good try. Once again, a five, ten split. Josh, interesting wood. Almost a V-shaped wood. Can he get it? No. The best thing do now is 127. Mac and nine. 90. 16 string. Daily and eight. 125. 16 string. Four to go. Rays East the Classic 2024. Lita Lane's National New Hampshire. Paul Grant Live on Candleman Bowling Network on YouTube. Once again, subscribe. Always free. Never a charge. Caleb and Bowling Network on YouTube. Sean Baker. Actually, we get these five balls first by mistake. Five more balls to go. Then on a 17th string. We're getting a little ahead of myself here. Very exciting. All right, so the final five balls, for each, five boxes for each bowler here. Sean Baker, 53 half. Charlie Collins, 63 half. The Terminator on lane three. Two, five, seven. 17 string after this. Five boxes. Baker, 4 2 split. No go. <laughs> Collins for a spare, missed right. Leads up to the two. Austin Barnes, a 2 3 earlier, leads the pack by 81 after 15. Sean, a rare seven. 
Just 60 through six. Collins and nine. 72 through six on Candleton Bowling Network. Mike, I get the scores every string. We did get, we did read them off. Scott Herbert read them off after the 15th string uh, a little while ago. We can put them on the screen if you want on the, the iPad. I could put them in front of the screen if you'd like. We can do that as well. Maybe we'll do that. Baker nine drop there, chance for a spare. Could have had three in the first three boxes. They didn't go. For a second spare, of the string. He's got it. Seventy to ball through seven. He did that one. Call us three, five, six triangle. Pushes right. Collins gets two for nine. 81 through seven, the 16th of 20. Baker six to that first ball on the spare. 76 through seven, Happy Collins. John, how you doing, Jonathan? Happy Easter, Jonathan Boudreau. How you doing, John? You've won, one, you've won one of these before? Um, yep, once before. 2016, right? When you won the Worlds, right? 2016, yes, same year. How you doing today so far? I'm not bowling. Oh, you're not? Okay. No, I pulled my groin about a month and a half oh, ago. I hate when it so I, uh, Yeah, yeah, well, I hate when it happens too, but... Um, no, Baker got I, the spare. What's that? Sorry, Baker got the spare. Go ahead, John. Yes, he did. Um, no, I figured uh, it would be better for my team on Fridays to take the day off and not risk getting hurt. Well, you guys had quite a night Friday night, didn't you? That was a nice night, yeah. Um, no, what, 134 is the lowest string in that third string. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, everything clicked. And, um, you know, it's nice when it happens like that sometimes. You know, just the, the score is just uh, everything lines up, and uh, that's the way it went. It was good. It was good. It was fun. Nice to have a night like that. All right, thanks, John Boudreau. Jonathan Boudreau, good, great bowler. All right, bar away. Baker had a five on the spare after the spare six. 91 through eight. Collins leads up number one after a nine drop, I believe. Let's see. Baker, good try. One for 100 in the ninth box. Sean missed left for an eight. 99 through nine. Nine's a while for Baker. Four strings after this next box after Collins gets his ninth box done. What out of play? Kayla, come on top. Hi, Josh. Collins is a 10. 96. One box to go on the 16th. Hey, Kayla Croto, how you doing? Good, good. How are you? you How's your, how's your brother doing? He's bowling good. He's bowling well. He's doing good so far from what I've seen he was today. Third last year. He's in the running again this year. No big surprise. I know. Hopefully he does good. He can come out on top. We'll just have to wait and see. We're rooting for him. Hoping he does his best. How's your daughter doing? She's doing good. She's home with her dad right now. Easter Bunny was good to her. You know, she did her little egg hunt this morning. So she had fun. But, you know, she's home in bed now. Too late of a night for her this year. All right, thanks, Kayla. Thank Kayla Croto. Sean Baker, 10, 109, 16 string. Charlie Collins trying to get to 112. And he does, 112, 16 string. Now we go to a 17 string. From Lita Lane's National New Hampshire, Rays 2024 Easter Classic. Defending Tim, Tim Tornado Douglas. Not in the top 10 as of right now. Near the top 10, I guess. But not enough to get that repeat this year. So let's see, we're gonna keep the same three on the left. Now on the right, we're gonna bring in Chris Merrill from Maine. Calvin Locke again. Sean Baker in the top five after going in that last string. He dropped a notch or two after that. Let's see, plenty of time left though. Clutch bowler. Cole Fire lead off on lane four. Chris Merrill, lane three. The main connection, you could say. Through a 154 in Newport, Maine at the Pearson Classic. You can watch it on Candle Mowing Network on YouTube that Friday night. Uh, 
How's, how's Chris doing today? How's Chris doing? Chris won it two, three years ago. He won it back to back years before Tim Douglas won it last year. Lurch is in the house too. Lurch, Rich Grassy. Hey, Rich, how you doing, buddy? Good. How'd you get the nickname Lurch? Oh, uh, Chris Sargent. Years ago. You told me the story. I forgot what it was now. But that Chris Sargent gave it to you, right? You told yeah. me the story. Tell the yeah. viewers how you got the name Lur Lurch. Yeah, Chris Sargent. Years ago, back oh, 25, 30 years ago. Why did he call you Lurch? I, I guess I. Uh, he liked the Adams family, so I guess I looked the part, right? <laughs> 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 You're a pretty good ball in your prime. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. Getting old now, but still love it. Yeah, good. I love the people, you know. All right, Lurch. Thanks Hello. a lot. Rich Grassy, Lurch. All right. All right, waiting for get the OK button to start our 17 string of 20. Kenneth and Bowling Network's presentation of the Easter Classic. We'll start momentarily. Thank you, Nico. The standings are on the website that Nico put on the screen. We get that to you as soon as we get the printout. Scott Herbert's doing me a favor. We're going to get that printout for you. We'll put them in front of the screen if we can next time. We'll read them off as well in between bowling boxes. So Josh Dale again here this string in the running as usual. And next string after this, our team will probably go across the lanes, the other side of the house, to cover... Austin Barnes. We'll keep you alive. Back with you in just a moment. Hey folks, thanks for hanging on. Waiting for our 17th string to start. Just waiting for a couple of bowls to finish up the other side. We'll start momentarily. We'll keep you alive. Folks, waiting for our 17th string to start. Bear with us. We're going to keep you alive. <laughs> Cole Fire lead it off. Just waiting for the okay, the green light. And Chris Merrill, this is fun. <laughs> Okay, Bulls are getting ready to start here in just a moment. 
Here we go. 17th string underway. Rays Easter Classic. Little Lanes National New Hampshire. Cole Fry. Hounds eight. Three right, five left. Chris Merrill. One, seven, nine, ten. These guys, Chris Bowles at a fast pace. Fry fires away for a spare. He got it. Bulldoze it through. Ten of the ball to start the 17th. Merrill, 7, 9, 10. Watch out for this name, Cole Fry, F-R-E-Y on the right. Both the Fenway Academy and the Worlds. Merrill, nothing there for a 7. Barnes got a 140. That should put his lead up higher. We'll get an official printout. So we get the table, we get to you live. Fry in the bonus, beautiful balls. It's seven somehow, seven, eight, ten. Merrill, four horsemen plus a post. And Fry's got some wood to work with. It's got Fry, I would think it'd go between those two pieces of wood. Let's see how he plays it. 17 through one, only got one. Merrill, one, seven, ten, Augusta Main special. Lousy lead, great day for a bowling center by Mark Carrier's Augusta Main house. Fry and nine, 26 through two. Merrill seven, rare two sevens, 14 through two. Austin Barnes, the leader right now. A comfortable lead, not safe. Cavalier just threw a 154 string. He's up third after Chris Merrill and Travis Wallace. Fry two in the 10. Merrill 247. Out of Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. No. Oh, what a try by Fry. Chris 8, 22 through 3. Fry and 9, 35 through 3. Merrill, not wasting any time. Fast pace bowler, rhythm bowler. Check mark. Chris, 10, just 32 through four. Don't say that too often about that bowler. He's so good. Cole Fry, one, two, nine, 10. 17 string of 20. Fry, nice shot, flies over the nine, 10. Merrill, pocket shot nine. Kingpin for a spare, the five. Fry gets one for nine. 44 through four. Merrill, spare. 42 to ball, 42 to ball through five. Tough stop and a good finish. Not his best day today. Fry a box behind. Travis Wallace, Josh Daly up next. One, six, ten. He's got wood behind the one to help. And a spare seven to start. And he got it. Spare in the fifth, 54 half plus one for Cole Fry. Jeff Stretch, 45 in a ball through five, off to right on lane six. You can see lane six on the, on the scoreboard on your screen. You won't see Jeff necessarily. Lane reset for him. Josh Daly on the right, Travis Wallace on the left. Brother of Miranda Wallace, another good bowler too. Congratulations to Miranda on your new house. Lovely lady and a realtor as well. Miranda Wallace. They teamed up together a couple years ago with Augusta Maine on the International Mixed Doubles. It's on Canada Bowling Network on YouTube. Daily 1 3, correction, 3 6 7. 3 6 7. Starting at 17. Clipped wing eagle to Travis Wallace. Daily 
Bailey. Oh, what a shot! What a spin! Wow! Three, six, seven, piece of cake on Easter Sunday. This guy is so good. It's scary how good he can get. What a shot by Daly. Wallace grabs two. Eight Fox to start his 17th. Third bowl is Calvin Locke. The Terminator Charlie Collins next. Daly, love the spare. 4 2 split, 14 through 1. Mother here watching, sister here watching. Big crowd in hand. Travis, he has a 4 2 split the other way. Trying to work out of it. Beautiful ball. Oh, so close. Travis, he gets his to go. What a shot that was for a spare. 18 the ball through two, Dale in the object for a nine. 23 through two on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Over 1,000 videos and climbing, always free, never a charge. Get your friends and family to sign up and yourself to Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Get Greg Liar on one lane calling 20 strings today on the other coverage on YouTube today on CBN. Billy trying to get back in the bar column. Six, three, six right, four, seven left. Travis Wallace on the bonus, nine. Two pin for another one. 27 through two, Daly got it! I was about to say, it's a spear lead for him, he got it anyway. Wow, Travis back to back spares. 37 of the ball through three. Daly, 33 in the ball through three. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Like I said, I was about to say it was a spare leaf for Josh Daly. Not normally that would be. He drilled it. He take advantage. Pushes right six. 39 through three in the 17th of 20. Wallace time on lane three. On the spare, beautiful ball, eight. Four in the eight. 45 through three. Daly delivers, spare! 49 in the ball through four. Wallace missed right, leads up to four. Tonight, three in a row. Travis, slow motion, nine. 54 through four. Cole, you have of lanes, right? Bank of lanes? Cole, Cole, do you have Pro Series time? Do you have Pro Series time? Which one I say more than? Uh, 199. All right, Josh on a spare. What else is new? 49 in the ball through four on lane four in string 17. Southpaw, fastball, pocket jumper, strike, nine! Just missed a six. 58 through four. Travis Wallace, nine, drop himself. Seven pin left up. Daly for another spare. Missed it. Let's miss many of those. Travis for a spare. He gets his to go. 64. Half the ball. Daly, Paul Grant special. Misses second, make the third. 10, 68 half. Jeff Surrett, 55. Had a spare strike. 55 plus two up next, later off to our right. Number two, after 15 strings, still waiting for the 16 string results. The Terminator, Charlie Collins from Waltham, Massachusetts on lane four. Calvin Locke from Canada on lane three. That is a strike for the Terminator. 
Auto start to the 17th. Lock with three. Come up a 154, 16th string. Nice second ball, two full. Three right, two, four, seven left. Won three world titles. Takes an eight to start the 17th. Next three strings will be covering Austin Barnes, more than likely, across the lanes. Collins on a strike. Right hand to right to left. Right side, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine, maybe ten. Wood rolls past the nine. Lucky to get nine there, almost a double. Walk with a nine drop, six pin for a spare. Two pieces in front. Couldn't get each other. Collins, right on it, spare. Clock a spare. Charlie Spare and strike, 20 through one, 30 the ball through two. Block 18 of the ball through two. Kevin last year's runner up to Tim Douglas. Had the lead going to the final string and it punched out a lot in that last string. Tim made two remarkable spares to win it in the last two boxes. It's on Kenneth Moly Network on YouTube. Collins parallel pins five. 35 through two, lock six, 24 through two. Got one, lock, can't get to the four, seven. It goes the four, not the seven. Collins, nice, 10, tough shot. 45, I was just talking about you, Miranda. 45 through three, yeah, I was talking about you a minute ago. Calvin, nine, 33 through three. Miranda Wallace, congratulations, you new home. Thank you I very much. I mentioned the broadcast a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I just bought a Brother new home Travis, and a new sister puppy. Sister Travis Wallace? I don't admit that every time, though. You, you did some pretty good here. You got a good half going there. Yeah. And you're also a realtor. Talk about your realty business. I recently actually switched over to EXP Realty in Fredericton. I actually got a new accepted offer this morning while here. So I'm loving what I'm doing and helping people find their dream home. All is power seven. Lock Diamond, he will get it. He finally goes. 43 in the ball through four. Fair oh, it's, it's a long day. So, so talk, yep, talk about um, real, how do people get a hold of you? Want to buy a house or sell a house? If anyone wants to get a hold of me, they can give me a call or a text at 506-449-9465. And you don't have to be in New Brunswick either. If you are in another province or even in the States, get a hold of me and I can refer you to someone that I trust. Is there a website too? I don't have a website at this time. I'm just with that. Uh, yeah, I just have the regular. All right, so the name, name of the business and the phone number again. Uh, my business, I'm with EXP Realty. I'm, I'm home real estate team, and my number is 506-449-9465. I talked about you won the title in 2020, the Mixed Internationals for you, brother. Oh, that was a long time ago now, it feels like. Collins, it's another strike, second strike of the half. Miranda Wallace, thank you. Thank you so much. Block 2-1 split, no. Seven in the fill, though, 50 through four. Charlie Collins, 64 plus two through five. Calvin, nine. 59 half. Halfway through the 17th of 20. 2024 Rays Easter Classic, Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. Austin Martins is number one right now. We're going to cover in the next two or three strings. I have to fix the leads here. Back in just a moment. Still waiting for the printout through 16 completed strings. All right, here we go, ready to go. Kill Fry, Chris Merrill. Two great bowlers. Pocket shot, a check mark. On a spare, six, 60, half. 
for Bank of Rural Lanes in Rural Maine. It's a 199 high single. Chris Merrill on a spare, 42 in the ball. Takes down seven, make it eight. Two in the eight. With the help. 50 half at the minimum after all that. Whole fly. Trying to get 10. Merrill picks it up, another one, back to back. After 32 through four, spare nine, spare. 60 to ball through six. Fly at 10, 70 through six. Low fry six, three, six, ten, eight, the nine behind the three. Merrill Spearfield was three, 63 through six. Tough leave, can't get to the 10. Hole, triangle, one for an eight. 78 through seven on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube and high depth. Merrill, it been hit, a setback. 5 6 10. The broom is out for the sweep. Nine in this last box, 72 through 7. Fry. Pocket shot, nine. That looked good, didn't it, for a strike? Leads up to six. Merrill try to kick it over. Didn't use the wood like I thought he would. What a great shot by Shona Baker, the 2-1 split on lane five. Fry, spare. 88 the ball through eight. Merrill at 10, 82 through eight. Merrill wasted no time, seven. One, two, seven. Cole Fry on a bonus on lane four here in National New Hampshire. Right side, five, 93 through eight. Merrill, one, two, seven. Where are you streaming right now? We're on Candle from Bowling Network on YouTube. Okay. High I'm definition. Make sure you hit some hard to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Give her a try. Hit subscribe. It's free. She should be because she's watching her thing like every day. Hole, it's two for eight. 101 through nine. Merrill had a 789 through nine and spread eagle. Justin, you know Scott Herbert? Cole has the four and the ten. Merrill, look at this leave. Cole has the four and the ten. Interesting wood. Getting advice from Josh Daly. Merrill trying to clean it up. Tough six. Disappointing, 95, 17 string. Not in the running today. Fry. He got it! Great shot for a spare in the ten. 111 the ball. Trying to get to 121. 10 boxes after this. Then three strings to wrap it up. Yeah. Fly, hit pit in. Got seven. 118. 17 string. Josh Daly on the right, 68 half. Travis Wallace in a spare, 64 half, working on a spare. Yeah. 
Still waiting for the results through 16 strings. They're on the website, 1347 for daily. Wallace on the extra session on lane three. Beautiful ball, nine. Just missed a seven, tapped it. 73 half. Getting a 2 2 split earlier. He almost got it again. Last time it was a 3 6 4 7. Good call. Good try. Travis, another one. 83 and a ball through six. Daly at 10. 78 through six. Travis, four spares in the last five. Mike, did you get Scott Herbert there in the green jacket with glasses? Scott Herbert? Daly, beautiful ball, powers down nine. Kingpin to five. Wallace crossing over, he gets nine again. 92 and a ball through six. Daly, the five for a spare. Bang! 88 and a ball through seven, the 17th. Scott Herbert, the green jacket with glasses. Scott Herbert, the glasses. Green jacket there, please. Yeah. Come, come here for a second. Clean shot at the 10 for Fry. Can he get it? No, he missed it for a spare. Missed it for a 10. Tonight, three in a row. 101 through seven. Great string. You got the printout from the 17? I know it's 17. You only have 16. Oh, I, I, I don't you know. I need 16. Daly on the bonus, crushes the pocket, a setback. Five, four, seven, right to left on the spare. 95 to seven, Fry, half Worcester, two in the eight. Hate that shot. Kevin Locke up next with Charlie Collins, the Terminator. Charlie's on a strike. Daly for spare, yes! Back to back, 105 and a ball through eight. Wallace, good second ball. Ball. Four, the five goes. Oh, it does go. The five and the four, delayed spare. One eleven, the ball through eight. Just like it drew it up. All the favorite Jim Barber here in attendance. Uh, Daily eight. Updating the scores in just a moment. 113 through 8, Fry on the spare. In the pocket, a check mark, 6. 117 through 8. Duking out side by side after this box, Scott Herbert will read down the top 10 scores through 16 strings. Here in the 17th now. Daly, oh, right around the 7. Wallace, this left, 2 in the 5. Josh, 10. 123 through 9. Travis, 10. 127 through 9. Scott Herbert through 16 strings. The leaders. Through 16 strings, Austin Barnes still remains in number one with 2185. Jeff Surrett second, 2103. Third place is Aaron Fontaine at 2085. Josh Daly is in fourth, 2066. In fifth place, Jimbo Ayotte, 1993. Sean Baker is in sixth, 1984. Nick Leach keeps in seventh with 1962. Kevin Davis has moved up nicely, 1958 from eighth place. Calvin Locke is now in ninth with 1953. And in number 10 is Nick Norcross with 1949. All right, so what's the difference between one and two right now? Uh, between one and two, it's uh, 82 pins. Austin Barnes over Jeff Surratt. Austin Barnes over Jeff Surratt by 82 pins and 100 pins over the third place. Who's the third again? Aaron Fontaine. Right. Thank you very much, Scott Herbert. All right, we're going to move our cameras to... Look at Austin Barnes, last three strings. 44 half for Austin Barnes right now with the 18th. That's good news for the bowls behind. Daily 8, 131, 17 string. Travis Wallace, 10, 137, excellent, 17 string. 
Final five boxes, three strings after this. Kevin Locke, 59 half. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, 64, working on a strike. Austin Barnes up by 82, but having a tough start. Collins, over double. Looks good, and he gets another strike! Wow! His first double strike today. Close the TV lanes. Block 4 1 split. 1 2 4 8 10. Charlie, 84 plus bonus balls through six. Block, good try. Nothing to show for it on the head pin. Calvin, yeah, nice 10. 69 through 6 on Tanelfin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Again, subscribe free, never a charge. Tanelfin Bowling Network on YouTube. Charlie, go over a triple strike. It's good 23-year-old from Waltham, Mass. Missed right. Four. 24 in that first double strike box, maybe more. As Locke takes down eight, six right, nine left. Collins gets five and almost like a T shape with angled in front. 25 in the first double strike box. 79 half, 89 the ball through six. That wood looks good. They're going to check it though. I think it's good. Hey, Bob. Just a little update on the scores. I got the from Scott Herbert. Oh, you, yeah. From uh, about yeah. about the halves. Yes. At well, the not, half. Not the half this string. No. Okay. So Austin Barnes just finally threw an open. He threw a 44 first half, yes. and uh, uh, Aaron, um, Aaron Fontaine. Fontaine 65 and a ball. So he picked up 21 pins plus a ball off that 82 pin lead. That puts it into the 60s. You probably ought to think about covering Austin after you finish I, I with am, Josh. Yeah, last three Thank you. That, that, that's my advice. Thank you. Very good. Collins. Oh, tough break. Eight in the second double strike box. Lock. Miss left. Just missed many of those. Charlie, 97 through six. Collins, nice 10. 107 through seven. The power of the double strike. Calvin, 10, 79 through 7. After 154, 16. We're going to be moving across the alleys to lane, over across the lanes to cover the number one team, Bola right now, number one seed, Austin Barnes. Collins, beautiful ball, another strike bid, 8. 4 in the 10. Lock on the crossover, 7. 6 middle, 9 left, 10 right. Collins trying to kick it over. I got it! Spare! 117 of the ball through eight. Lock six to ten. Eight. What a difference the string makes. 87 through eight. Funny game. Jeff Surrett just threw a 116, 17 string. He was 82 behind Austin Barnes coming in. Collins on the bonus, right side, seven. 1710 Augusta Bean special. 124 through eight. Calvin Forsen plus the eight in Maine, the Christie Hapworth special. Bob Clary leave everywhere else. Tough lead, the old Hilo Jack, head pin only. Wow, good drive, got it! Excellent shot, Spare. 97 the ball to nine. Collins, nine. 133 through nine. To our right, Sean Baker in the running. 55 half, I believe. And now Ted, 65 through six. And the red shirt off to our right on lane five. 
Like you have to turn and move the camera around and uh, move the table over and cover the final three with Austin Barnes. Can you carry this thing over there? Yeah. You know, just wrap the microphone around. I'll move the table over. Collins, left side, 5 2 split. Calvin on the spare. Beautiful ball, strike! That's how you bounce back. Big 20. 107 through 9, 117. Plus 2 in the 10th. Collins. Missed the head pin. 1 3 in front. 4 7 left. Trying to get to 143. Got two of the four for an eight. Nothing wrong with the 141. 17 seed for the Terminator, Charlie Collins. Calvin just three on the spare. Actually, right, not a strike, my, my bad. So it's nine in the strike. So a spare strike combination now a nine on the fill. 126. Nice finish for Calvin Locke. Three strings left. Raise Easter Classic from Lita Lanes. We'll switch over to the other side. Stay with us live. All right, Paul, don't fall. Can you bring this chair over for me? Bring it where? I need this table over here. Do you want to carry this? I, I have an alcohol beverage in my hand. Can you close the trash, please? Sure. Where are we going? Uh, I'm going to fall off to mine. Somewhere around 26, 27, 28. Okay. I, I got to bring this over to this table. Okay. On the move here, waiting for Austin Barnes to finish his string up here. We're on the fly here. Here's Austin Barnes, the gray shirt on lane 27, having a down string. He's on a spare. Six. Only 75 through eight. He was at 82 and Jeff Sarek coming in. Jeff had a 116. We'll cover the next three strings. Austin Lane 27 here in Nashville, New Hampshire. Eight. 83 through 9. 83, 83, 83 through 9. His final block. We look near Mark for the 100 mark. How, how did Aaron Fontaine, how did Aaron Fontaine do? Bob, how did, how did Aaron Fontaine do? Aaron Fontaine got a 135. 137. So he's going to gain some pins. Make it interesting. Barnes 8. Austin Barnes going to take that 82 for deficit, maybe as low in the 40s or 30s. Tony Palladino with the haircut on lane 28. Good young ball on the rise. Austin, Archipin won't go. 
the best you can do is 93. It's going to happen once in a while. How you bounce back is the key. Austin, nine, no good. 92 string. 45 pins on the deficit. It's a 37 pin lead of Aaron Fontaine. Hold on to your horses, folks. Aaron, 137. Austin Barnes, a 92. 93, is it? 92 it is, 92. So that's a 45 pin swing. He was up 82, that's the 30. No, he was up, he was 100 pins over Aaron. Oh, 100 over Aaron, I thought it was 82. Uh, no, it was 100 on Aaron. Okay, 82, 82 on Jeff. 82 over Jeff and 100 over Aaron. All right, so that's gonna go, go Jeff at a 116. All right, so, so I'll cut Jeff down. So that brought Jeff 24 pins closer. So just down 40, uh, 58, uh, 58, 56. 58 behind. Yeah, 58 and that, behind. Yes, and then uh, Aaron would be, what, how much? He, About 45 behind. Yes. About 45 behind. Yeah. So we got three strings left. Raise East to Classic. Paul Grant, Scott Herbert alongside helping out. 18th string going to start momentarily, momentarily keep you alive. We're in high definition on YouTube. Thanks for watching. New scoreboards here. And Lee Lanes, great job. Lexi running the tournament. We'll start with 18th string momentarily. We'll keep you alive. Hang on, folks. So right now the plan is to cover uh, Austin Barnes' next three string, but however, if there's a change, we could go to Aaron Fontaine or Jeff Surrett, pending what's going on after 19 strings. Tim Douglas, a defending champion, two years prior, Chris Murrow won two in a row. And we're going to start our 18 string momentarily as balls are wrapping up their 17 string. And they move one lane to the right, each string. Shout out to Greg Gouillard doing 20 strings, sitting down on one lane. One or two lanes all day. Chris Bovier wrapping up on the right side. Left side on 26. Now ready to start momentarily. Well, let's move over one lane to the right. And ready to start our final three strings, string 18 to 20. Raise Easter Classic 2024 on Canada Promoting Network on YouTube. Friday Night Pro League, Game of the Week this Friday night, 7.30. April 5th, number five, Academy Three hosting number three seed, Hingham, on Canada Promoting Network on YouTube. Any doubles, Caleb for Cancer, top five live show, myself, Greg Guillard, April 13th, Saturday, 11 a.m. at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. And the following two weekends, the main APH playoffs, Saturday and Sunday, and the following weekend, the main opens Saturday and Sunday. Last two weekends of April, live coverage on YouTube on Canelpin Bowling Network. Then in May, it's the Mass New Hampshire States and the Canelpins for Cancer. Mixed doubles roll-offs, Any double, anybody can bowl, men and women, top five men and women team up to bowl the top five mixed lattice show. So individual roll-offs on CanelpinsforCancer.com, Canelpins number four, Cancer.com to donate as well, if you'd like. And it's time for the roll-offs. May 14th, 16th, 18th, 25th, and 26th. Men and women separate scratch bowling. Top five men, top five women. Make the live show June 2nd. All right, 18th string underway. Jimbo A on the left. Jeff on lane 28. He gets a nine. He got a strike. He got a strike. Is that a strike or a ten? I didn't see it. Uh, that was a ten. Jimbo got a strike. Jimbo got a strike. Okay, we get the situation on the fly. So he got a strike. Move that camera over here a little more. That's our coverage here, lanes 27 and 28. Actually, 
My bad, let's do 28 and 29. Because Austin Martin's on 28, so we'll keep an eye on Jim Lay on. Jeremy Van Dyke, number three seed, Atlanta can open singles court, class C. Works for Heckless Dead and Lee Lanes. Eight to start. Jeff Cranes has a 9 to 10 to start. We're coming Austin Barnes. Potentially the next three strings. He's number one right now, but the lead has all of a sudden trimmed down. It'll be an interesting finish. Can he hang on? Jeremy appear eight. Come on, Double J, JJ Trigg the number one seed, Class B Northern Conference, Atlanta Cannonball Singles score over a 115 average. That'll be number five in the Class A Conference. He'll be in Class A next year. Up next after Jeremy Van Dyke. We're gonna switch over to cover Ryan Cox in the meantime. Ryan Cox half whisker on lane 30. Nine is six start for him. Half whisk to make it even better. Sarcastically, one of the seven. Tough start. Very good bowler. Jeremy, one, six, ten. Ryan Cox with an eight. Is 23 through three. Van Dyke a nine, 25 through three. Extended live coverage here, roaming around on Canal Promoting Network. Pro Series playoffs is Saturday, April 6th also. Live coverage on Facebook and YouTube on Canal Promoting Network. Busy month, April and May. Ryan, left side, struggling, just three. Van Dyke, six, check mark. Ryan, nice bid, almost. Seven of the eight. Jeremy for a spare, this right. Cox gets a 10. 33 through four, the 18th. Van Dyke, nice 10. 35 through four. We'll switch over. Third bowler, Austin Barnes, in a few moments. Fifth box, 18th string out of 20. And Cox needs a mark. Get him going. One, two, four, spare chance. Jeremy Van Dyke on lead 29. Beautiful ball, crosses over with a 5 1 split. Young bowler of the rise. Ryan at the same point, same hands. Fair! He did that one. 43 half plus one. Jeremy, good bit of the object, too thin. Ryan, Ryan. Jeremy gets one, seven. 42 half. No, not right now. Maybe later. Good to see you. Yeah, it's going to cover you for, gonna cover you for now. All right, here's JJ Trigney. What, what's <laughs> Stephanie, what's your last name? Miller. Stephanie Miller. Steph Miller on the right. Good to see her. Fine Canadian bowler. Jeff Miller, five of the ten. Trigney, six of the nine. 
He's been lights out in the Atlanta Cannon Open Singles Tour. Number one seed. Pins up, average about almost 10 pins I mean, almost a year. Eight to 10 pins higher than last year. Both not on box. Steph Miller in lane 30 here in Nashua, New Hampshire. Nine, starter 18. JJ, nice out, nine. Austin Barnes, we'll be up next. We'll switch over to lane 28 for Austin Barnes next. Austin, disappointing 93, 92 strength. We'll try to bounce back. He just gave life to Jeff Surrett and Aaron Fontaine, who was second and third. Miller, three in that first ball. JJ, one, nine, 10. Steph, good ball, but two full. Two, three, six. Double J, Drigny. Nice shot, spare. 19 the ball through two here in the 18. Steph, nice out, nine. Two nines to start the strength. Third box. Jerry Dunn can't up next also on the right. We'll, we'll, we're not going to be able to see him. We're going to be covering Austin Barnes in the first seat. Jerry, Jerry. Let's talk to Jerry Dunn. Hey, Jerry. Hey, it's great to see you again. Hey, you too. Congratulations on that world title. What a match that was, huh? Oh, that was that was the match of a lifetime. That was the best match I've ever seen, actually. Five titles. Five titles. Not yes. bad, huh? Yes, not how bad. Do you, at how all. do you do it? It's a good Got team. A great, good teammates. That's all. They're to pull you out when you when you have when you're in the line. That's all. Another 200 in your belt last year as well. Yes, in October. Yep. The men's seniors. Yep. Yeah, it was great. Uh, ball just fell great. 214. Pardon? 214, right? Yes, 214 with the. Uh, Let's see five strikes, six strikes. Step in the picket fence gets one. Of course, yes. And but they were hit the other nine pit breaks. They were all hit for uh, strikes. So how's Shelly doing? Shelly's doing great. She's uh, with her folks right now for uh, Easter, Easter dinner. So those who don't know you, talk about some of your accomplishments during your great career, Jerry Dunn from Canada. What else you bought? Some of your singles and things like that. You know what? Right now, I would say the best thing is being with uh, the team with A plus. They're the best team to be with. They all get along. Everybody picks up. Somebody picks somebody up, and we all get. Like I said, we all get it's, along. It's going to be right here. The, the world's in November. Is that where it is? I didn't hear about that. So it should be interesting this year. Yeah. Richard Smith of Bank of Rural Lanes got moved over to here. I heard that they had problems over there. So yeah. I just. So they're going to be here, Lee Lanes. I really can't wait. Yeah. It should be a lot of fun. All right. Just all here. So. How you doing today so far? Struggling, but I'm trying to keep calm. It's a really big struggle for me, anyways. A lot of people, maybe uh, a few others are not struggling as much, but I'm, I'm having fun anyways. Jerry Dunn, thanks for stopping by. Okay, Good thank luck. you very much. Good to see you. See you in the mix, Mixed Worlds too? Yes, I will uh, be here. I'll too. be at Academy Lanes. Ten minutes from home for a change. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun over there too. I like the lanes over there. So. I'll see you then. Jerry Dunn, great guy. All right, back to live coverage. Let's get an update here. Steph Miller, I was talking to Jerry. Just 31 through 4. J.J. Trigney had a spare 7. Now a spare in the fourth, 44 and a ball through four. Steph would like to sit down on the mark here. We'll switch over to Austin Barnes in lane 28 in just a moment. Number one coming in. Steph Miller, one, three, six, spare chance. JJ Trigney, one, three, six, ten. Austin Barnes coming up now. Switch over in about 30 seconds or so. Miller for a spare. Missed right. Oh, no marks. JJ wraps around the three and the ten.
Steph, nine, 40 half. JJ, nice 10, 60 half. Let's go to Austin Barnes, number one seed coming in today in the string, 18. Trying to bounce back, you know, 203 earlier. 92 last string, can you hang on? Aaron, Aaron Fontaine on 137. Aaron Fontaine, I believe trailing by 37, just started with a strike in his first. He had a 137 last And game. he just threw a strike in the first. Wow. Right on our left, he's throwing out his first fill ball on it. Yeah, on the head. Barnes got it to go! That's how you bounce back, Spanish us not the 18th. There you go. And uh, Fontaine's got a split, so you're gonna you're gonna have some fun here. I I can't keep an eye on both. I got a bowl, but hope the, hope the iPad holds up battery wise. Uh, where where is it saying up there? Three dots. Three percent. Oh, three dots. Yeah, that's, that's not that's not what that means. I'm sorry. You'll get a, you'll get a signal for low for five percent and ten percent. If you get either of those. Tell me about it and we'll figure out a way to Barnes, the bonus, eight, nine. nine. Eight pin remains. Oh, Dom Paladino, the dominator, lane 29, the black shirt. So struggles with single pins, nine. Interesting one, it could be a roadblock. Try to get around that somehow. Could go right of that angled pin to the right of the eight. Crucial spare chance on lane 28 here in Nashua. For a spare. Oh, no. Roadblock, too bad. Oh, no. Tough, oh, no. tough break. Strike for Jerry Dunn to our right. You can see it on lane 30. Spare five and a, a spare strike start. 20 through one, 30 plus two through two. Barnes nine, 26 through two. Caladino trying to clean it up. Good effort. Did reach the West Coast. Paladino 10. See Chris Bovere to our left also. Let's go to him also. Barnes, beautiful ball. Pilots down 9 10. Strike. The floor goes last. That could have been three in a row. Fontaine Instead, two out of three. 38 plus two through three. And Fontaine just made a spare in the third. He was open in the second. He's at 37 in the ball. He goes in and he knocks down nine on his fill. He had a nine drop. So he's at. 46 through three. Thanks, Bob Lee. Executive producer of Cannibal Morning Network. Chris Bovier on the check mark. Unchecks it. Spare. 42. The ball through three. Barnes, big time strike. 38 plus two. Double Paladino to our right. 28 through three. Jerry Dunn. Strike eight. Eight. 40. Uh, correction. Strike eight. 38 through two. Barnes, right side. Five, 43 through three. Okay. I, have a, I, have, I have a new nickname for Freshie. We should call him Oopa Loopa. All right, it's one, two, seven, nine, ten. Bovair, two of the ten. Eight in his spare, 40 through three. Barnes, tough leave, good shot. Oh, just missed the nine. Great try. On his first pro series here, 2021. Or 2022. With Nick Leach. Austin Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Make it Ted DeBurrow, the owner proud. 50, 47 through three. On the night strike, nine. Nine in the box, 56 through four. Beauvert, another spare. And then that fill was eight. Fifty-seven through four. Down in the box, I believe. Sixty-six half. Barnes. This left five. Aaron Fontaine, not in the spare, right? No. 64 half, Aaron Fontaine. Barnes can use it. Oh, flies over the eight and 10. So he's tied with Aaron Fontaine. Can take the lead with one pin here in the string. Well, 
Ovea still bowling. Get a 59 through four officially. Barnes, big hitting nine, 65 half. Knows he could have been a lot more. Ovea eight, 67 half. What a nice bounce back from Austin Barnes. Funny game. 92 last string, 65 half here in the 18th of 20. Ray's Easter Classic on Canopy Bowling Network. Let's go back to Jerry Dunn on the right. He's on fire. Left hand on the black shirt. On lane 30, 67 through four. Beautiful ball, nine. He's fun to watch, isn't he? Dominic Palladino drops down eight. He's at 36 through four coming into this fifth box. Clean shot, better shot for left hander. And he has it. 76 half plus one for Jerry with a G. Doug, two ends. Make it 77 of the ball. Paladino, he gets to go spare on the board. 46 half plus one. Over to Jimbo Ayot. Blue shirt. 72, uh, 63 half. Nine, 72 through six. Let's get back over to the right side. Back and forth we go. Ryan Cox on the right. Jeremy Van Dyke on the left. Ryan on a spare, 43 in the ball. Crossing over, nine, 10, strike! After a sluggish start, a big 20. 53 out, 63, plus two through six. That's how you do it, folks. Fight, fight, fight. Ten to go. 52 through six. Ryan Cox, spare strike. Nine, six, eight, ten start. Now spare strike. Terrific bowler. Ready to go on lane 30. We'll get back to Austin Barnes who comes up next. 65 half, the number one seed today. Cox, left side, got seven, one, three, nine behind the three. <laughs> 70 to six. He's on a strike with the ball to go. Trying to get the 73. The three in a row. He got it! 73 through six, 83 to ball through seven. Dyke, one, three, ten. What a funny game. 33 in his first four. He's got 50 in his last three. He's on a spare. Nice job, Jeff Buff. Nice ball, Jeff Buff. Way to be, baby. Get me up there. Ryan Cox on a good run. Do it again. What do you do it again now, huh? Spare strikes bare. We're in the 18th string of 20 on Canada from Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. It's free to subscribe, always never in charge. Canada from Bowling Network on YouTube. It's a grind. Cross, crossing over, nine. He's up at 10. 92 through seven. What a turnaround. Here in the 18th. And Dyke three, six, nine, 10. So four in a row, bang! One oh two in a ball through eight. Look at him go. Jeremy, three, two, split, I get a bunch.
I think Ryan likes the TV lanes. And Jerry Dunn too, but we're gonna cover Jerry's the third ball with Austin Brown, but Austin's two lanes away. Jeff Gage, 12 left, a 28, well, 125. He's a 60 through 6. 65 is last four. Another nine drop for Cox. 111 through 8. Five and a 10. Would you possibly help Jeremy? For five in a row. Yes! 121 of the ball through nine for Ryan Cox. Jeremy gets the spare. 76 in the ball through nine. Indian connection. Ryan Cox, Steph Miller, and Jerry Dunn going together in lane 30. We'll cut away to 28, lane 28 when Austin Barnes comes up next. The fight with Aaron Fontaine right now and Jeff Surrett. Another strike, incredible. 131 through nine, 141 plus two in the 10, insane. He's got 108 in his last six boxes plus a strike fill. Incredible finish by Ryan Cox. How do you start sometimes, how do you finish? Good for him. Six blocks in a row. Break out the fire hose. There be five to spare, 81 to nine, seven to blocks, 88 string. It's a lot better than that. Ryan Cox, 141 working the strike. Incredible finish. Back to Earth, Spread Eagle. You need a bunch to get to 150. And great try, he almost pulled it off. He did get the five on the six. A nine fill, 150. 117, his last six boxes. Wow, wow, wow. What a performance, I think he wants to talk now. <laughs> what a finish. Steph Miller, 40 out, could you do the same thing? One fifty for Ryan Cox. A thirty-three through four stand. Step on the weather strike. She's got Ryan Cox fever. Fifty plus two through six. J.J. Tricky, he gets a strike also. 70 plus two through six. See where Ryan started and Jerry Dunn started? Jerry got him going. Jerry's 77 out plus a ball. Up next, if we can get to that coverage. Opposite Austin Barnes. J.J. double strike eight. Four for Stefan and first strike ball. Miller, good ball. Almost. The queen pin is the five for the ladies. Almost went. Nine to strike. 59 through six. JJ can't connect. Ten. 69 through seven. JJ and nine. 80. Eight through seven on Candle Pin Bowling Network. 18th string of 20, Austin Barnes will be coming up in a couple of moments.
Uh, Josh Daly just finished his uh, string at 116. He's trailing by 80 and is, is currently in fourth place. Barnes. What did you have strike yet? You know? uh, no, I don't have that. I'll, I'll get that for you in a second. And Barnes came back with a 65 half. Yeah. 56 at the half, but. Surratt. Straight at a 56 half. Oh, yeah, I'll go check. We'll check that. JJ, double J strike. Wow. Barnes away, baby. 98. 98 plus 2 through 8. Blister yeah, the pigs. So that's at 22.56 after his strike. Step 14 split. Got some work to do on the out. This kid, watch out for J double J. JJ Trigney. Steph Miller trying to get a bunch. A rare so four. Sur Surrett 73 finished. through 8. Surrett finished with a 137 just now. So he and he, he had dropped to third place, down 58. Fontaine moved into second, down 55. He's at 22, 22. Barnes is at 22. And what's Aaron got over there right now? The and uh, I'm gonna go get Aaron. Okay, Aaron's up there bowling. Octra left on lane 23. We're on lanes 28 to 30 right now. It's Austin Barnes. We're switch over to Austin Barnes, number one seed right now. We'll update you on Steph Miller. And Jerry did not schedule to be on his coverage of strength. Barnes had a 65 half, not on a mark. Yeah. Off to Barnes, left, just four. Barnes fourth. now at 74 through six. So he's a boxer. You mean Aaron Fontaine? Uh, yeah, but Fontaine is a 74 through six. So that, you're up to the date. Okay. Up to the date. Tricky. JJ missed right that right. Austin Barnes, working out of it. Good try, 3-6-10. JJ Trigney, 106-8 after that strike eight fell. Missed the second, made the third. That's a Paul Grant special. He put it for me. Never a good time for that. 10, 116 through nine. Barnes, nice nine. 74th, Aaron Fontaine also was a 74 through six. Aaron, 55 behind coming in, gained 45 last string, 137 to 92 in Austin Barnes. Barnes feeling the heat, can he hang on? Good battle, good test for the youngster. JJ, another strike! See what I'm talking about? 126 plus two in the 10th. Barnes just missed right, four horsemen to the post. Can you update Aaron Fontaine? Tough leave for Barnes. Can he get it? Just missed. One of the ten. Jeff Surrett at a 137, making a run at Austin Barnes in the 18th. Austin, nice 10, 84 through 7. JJ on a strike. Left side, 6. 1, 3, 9, 10. Try and get to 136 in the 18th. Jerry Dunn to our right, 77 in the ball through five. We'll cut over to him when Austin Barnes is done. JJ, nice 10. Spare and strike, 136. Case in point, double J. JJ Trigney out of legal lanes. Barnes, left side. Lucky to get seven, 137. Dominic Palladino to our right, 46 in the ball through five. You can see Jerry down to lane 30. You can see his ball on the right. Barnes for spare, missed it right. Aaron Fontaine on fire over there. Converted a spread eagle. Wow. He converted a spread eagle, yeah. Uh, uh, Aaron Fontaine, a spread eagle, a 1% for his spare. When you hunt, you hunt. He's, he's at 117 in a ball, and that looks like through the ninth. Barnes. Nine, 93 through eight. Feeling the heat. Caladino, one, three, 10. No. Seven that fill gave him 53 half. Dominic, 10, 63 through six. 
Austin Barnes can use a marker too. Beautiful ball, strike, right on cue. 103 plus two of the night, timely strike. Dominic Caladino, another young bull in the rise in his 20s. He's ever just gone greatly this year as well. Up four or five points or more at times. Jerry Dunn on his spare had nine. 86 half, another spare. Five, 101 for six. We'll get to him after Austin Barnes finish. This is the last box here. What a battle. Here at 2024 Rays Easter Classic at Lita Lane's National New Hampshire on Camelopin Bowling Network. Good try by Dominic, the Dominator. Austin Barnes would love a double. Too far left. Forson minus one, so one, three, six, seven, working on a strike. Caladito, one for an eight. 71 through six, Jerry Dunn, a 10, 111 through seven, Barnes, oh, he got it! The K back to the seven, the boomerang spare on strike, huge! 113 through nine, 123, and a ball in the 10th. Just record a 137 across the pond. All eyes are watching Austin Barnes, dozens watching. Here on Lita Lane's over 100 watching on Canopy Bowling Network. Thank you. Please share this match. Get your friends to bowl, Canopy Bowling. Nothing like it, a sport for all ages. Aladino, beautiful ball, only five, make it six, make it seven. Two, five, seven. Barnes, off to the right, six, maybe seven, seven. Nice finish. 130. 18th string. Jeff gains seven. That cuts him down to 50 to Austin Barnes. Let's get back over to Jerry Dunn. Dominic Caladino. Caladino gets the 10. 81 through 7. Jerry Dunn, a rare 7, 118 through 8. We'll cover Austin Barnes again next string. What is Bob, what did, what did on the front? Uh, 140. He, he put, the difference is 42 now. Barnes threw a 7 on a 143. Aaron Fontaine got a 143. So he's, I think he's 42 behind. Maybe less. <laughs> Jerry Dunn, flip wing eagle. Dominic, a diamond. Jerry, right in the same spot. That's a Paul Grant shot. You could say he's on the head pin. Caladito missed right, 2 on the 4. Two strings after this to wrap it up. We'll have a new champion this year. Nice out by Dunn, nine. 127 through nine. Paladino a nine. 90 through nine. We move down to our lanes after this box. Final box, the 18th, Jerry Dunn. Beautiful ball, breaks up the picket fence. Took the nine down, seven, eight, 10, good grief. Galladino, the four and the eight. <laughs> Dunn, missed everything. Aaron Fontaine, 133. I think I had 142. Aaron Fontaine, 133, I was told. I read 142. No, 143. 143 for Aaron? I read yeah. three different numbers. Yeah, 143. Jerry is seven. Nice finish for Jerry. What did Jerry get? Jerry, what'd you get that string? 134 for Jerry Dunn. No surprise. Dominic, what'd you get? Dominic, what'd you get? 99 for Dominic Paladino. Let's move our camera down. String 19. 42 pin lead. Lead is down to 42. 42 pin lead. Slide that down, please. 
table, table. Between 29 and 30. 42 pin lead right now. 50 on Jeff Surrett for Austin Barnes. He's been tested greatly the last two strings. Two exciting strings left. Lane's 29 and throw. Keep an eye on Jerry Dunn on 31 also. Barnes on 29. We're going to start over on the right side there to Ryan Cox, who had a 33 through 4 last string. He had a 150, six marks in a row. It was incredible. We'll show Jeremy Van Dyke again. Nineteenth string of twenty underway. Rays Easter Classic. Paul Grant live on Canlip and Bowling Network. Jeremy flips up the seven. Ryan four seven. Good pocket shot. Almost got it. Or will it? Not quite. Good ball by Jeremy. The second ball. Four in the ten. There goes the ten. Ryan Cox, 10 to start the 19th of 20. Ditto for Jeremy Van Dyke. When Austin Barnes bowls third and lead 20, that will switch over there. Ryan, second box, spin seven, six, 10, seven left. Not going to be easy. Van Dyke, one, five, six, nine, ten, trying to go right. Good effort. Give it a try. Jeremy is right, one of the five. Ryan, 10. Two tens to start the 19th. Van Dyke in eight. 18 through two. Austin Barnes, the third bowler in a few moments. 42 pin lead over number two, Aaron Fontaine. 50 unofficially over three seed, Jeff Surratt. Through 18 complete strings, we'll get the official scores when we get a chance. Ryan, five down, five to go. Jeremy, one, three, six, seven left. Nice ball, he got it, spare. Excellent shot for Ryan Cox. Perfect start, 10 spares and strikes in Kennelpin. Perfect game, 30 to ball through three, two tens and a spare. Van Dyke on lead 30, 9, 27 through 3. Ryan on the ball, bonus ball. Crossing over, 8, 3 of the 9. Two pieces dangling around. 38 through 3 in the 19th. Jeremy in the channel. Another spare. Got it! Back to back. Two tens, two spares. 48 to ball through four. Perfect. His last 10 boxes going back to the fifth box. 18th string. Remember, 33 through four. Six marks in a row. 150. Two tens, spare, five spare. Precious spare, eight spare. 48 the ball through four. Jeremy six, 33 through four. Ryan just four that time, 52 through four. Trying to get three in a row. Dyke half Worcester. Cox trying to work it out. Good try. Just missed the five. 
Not by much. Denied three in a row. A for effort. Ryan Cox, nine. Only blemish. One pin on the deck, 61 half. To uh, get, I don't know what's going on here, a little delay on 30. So, some scoring issue here, I don't know what's going on. There'll be a reset. Jeremy gets three on the reset. Here's Steph Miller on lane 31. Terrific bowler. Beautiful ball, nine. Eight pin left up. Wood to help. Jeremy, one, two, nine. Austin Barnes up in a few moments. Miller for a spare. Got it. Spare to start the 19th. Van Dyke, nine. 42 half. Ray's Easter Classic. Steph on a spare, only 31. Smooth ball, crossing over seven, five, nine, nine goes. There goes the five, that goes. Seven holds up, 19 through one. Craig Powers, thanks for watching. It's a grind, 20 strings. Miller for another one. Too far right. Wants someone back. JJ, JJ Trigney, 136, 18 string. 410 split, starting his 19th. No wood, no luck. One of the world championships this November at Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. Good try by JJ. Watch out for this guy, folks. Trigney with the Ted. Excuse me. JJ with a Ted. Two tens to start a string. Great to be with you all watching. Thanks for watching. Please share it with your friends and family. Get him the bowl. Get him the bowling. Steph. Use the wood, gets it to go for a Paul Grant special. Misses second, make the third. 10, 29 through two. JJ, beautiful ball, seven, four, seven, nine. Wood to help. Try. Can't get to the nine. Good effort. Miller trying to work on the five-two split. Nice ball, but too full. A Greek church. So Jeff Surrett just finished with a 60 half, two spares. He's open. Uh, Josh Daly just threw a 67 half open um Not that's, th those are your third third and fourth bowlers um daily trails by i believe 90 
Ford going into How about, how about Aaron Fontaine over here? He is. Open, yeah. open the states means not in the market. Canada means you're filling a market. That's right. They're, they're, these are the third bowlers, though. So the third bowlers haven't begun. Haven't begun. Okay. Those are the first halves. Both Surrett, Surrett's in the first slot. Daly's in the second slot. He just finished and up. And Aaron's 42 to 9, right? And neither of these guys have had a chance to start yeah. their, their 19th yet. All right, double J, 257. So we can use that wood to help. He nails it. Two tens to spare, 30 in the ball through three. Steph, 10 last box, 39 through three. Perfect start, spare nine, two tens. Austin Barnes, a couple boxes away, we'll cover him next. Number one right now. Nice comeback last string. After a tough 17 string, at a 92, at a 130 or so, last string, 133 I believe. Steph Miller, nice ball, 2-1 split. Wiggling six right, four seven left. JJ on the spare, left side five. 35 through three. Steph, out your pin. Somehow the seventh does not go. JJ just missed left. Stephanie, we call Steph, Steph Miller. Try and get a 10 box, stay perfect. In the channel, no good, nine. 48 through four, in the 19th of 20. Chris Ryder from Canada, bowling off to our right on lane 32. He's up next. We won't get to him though. All right, update from Bob. Aaron Fontaine just underway with a nine in the first. JJ, nice out, 10. 55 half, a correction, 45 through four make it. 45 through four, scoreboard's corrected. Steph Miller, four horsemen plus the post. 47 officially we're told, through four for Steph. Tough leave, one of the 10. JJ, 4-2 split. Austin Barnes, up next. Oh, what a try by JJ. Step a nine, 56 half. JJ, uh, Jerry Dunn up next rather. JJ trying to get a 10 to 55, to five. Double J gets the 10, fives a while, 55 half. We're gonna switch over to Austin Barnes on lane 29. Jerry Dunn will keep an eye on him on lane 31. We'll show his first ball anyway. He's on 31, we can cut back to lane 29 with Austin Barnes. Left-hander, perfect shot, but two-fold, two-two split. Back to Austin Barnes. The number one seed right now. Johnny Palladino, the dominator, next to him. Chris Boverde. Austin Barnes left on lane 28. Chris Boverde, 10 in this first box. Palladino, rocket shot. 4-1 split, what the help. Barnes, beautiful ball, strike pit nine, that looked good. These are the 10. He's been great all day, a tough 17 string, 92. Came right back with a strong 18 string. Wait for the official scores, just a moment. Palladino, missed, oh, I got it! A gift spare. The way he drew it up, 10 of the ball to stop the 19. Barnes, a big spare chance. Right on it, spare to stop the 19th. Bob Lee. Aaron Fontaine had, had a spare in the third. He's at 29 in a ball. Lining up right now, actually, looks like on lane, he looks like he filled it with six. 
35 through three. Thank you. Austin Barnes, 10 of the ball. Dominic Palladino, 10 of the ball to start the 19th. Live on Canada from Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit that subscribe button, always free. Palladino crossing over off the wall. It's a 3 1 split, 16 through 1. Barnes in the bonus. Beautiful ball, 8. 6 10. Great piece of wood in front, 18 through 1. Trying to hang on and win the 2024 Rays Easter Classic. Paladino trying to kick it over. Oh, too bad. Spun around to the seven. Barnes for two in a row. Oh, can't believe it didn't go. High piece of wood. Dominic gets the 10, 25 through two. Jerry Dunn, 16 through two. We have the leaders here. We'll put up on the screen next. Barnes, nine. 27 through two. Here are the leaders on the screen. This is through 18 strings. All that net is the total, the right column. Austin Barnes, 2407. Aaron Fontaine, 2365 coming in. 42 behind. Just read 2356. Maladino, six. One, three, six to nine behind the three. Barnes hipping it. Three one split. Six right. 247 left. We'll put more scores up in a moment. Austin, 133.72 average. Bar Paladino won't go. This would be something for Barnes to get. Sliced and diced up the wall. Couldn't quite get to the six. Missed by a speck. Great bid. Dominic, nine. 34 through three in the 19th. Austin with a 10. 37 through three. More scores. Again, these are through 18 strengths. We're in the 19th. Easy a top 10. Try to get that in your screen. Back to live action, short again in a moment. Paladino, three, four, seven, eight. Austin Barnes, fourth box. Beautiful ball, crossing over again. Three, five, 10, wood in between. So again, these are the, real quick, these are the top three right now. These are the three in the fight. They're the closest. Josh Tilly still has a shot. Chibu A out looking further back. Paladino just can't get to the 10, great try. Barnes could use it. Missed it. Jerry Dillon just 24 through three to our right. Has a five seven split. Aladito, nine, 43 through four. Barnes trying to make up for that missed shot for a 10. He gets a nine. 46 through four. Update to Aaron Fontaine just a moment. This is fun, folks. Nothing like the great game of Caleb from Bowling. Paladino, right side, 3 1 split, 1 2, 8 10. Austin Barnes, love and mark. Cross him again, 3 6 10. He's got a chance. Not on a mark. Oh, Aaron Fontaine is a 54 half, not on a mark. Austin gets a pass now in the string. Mark would help. Paladino, one of the eight. For a spare. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. Right in the pocket, won't go. What a strange game. Try to get to the 56. And a 44 pin lead overall in the total over Aaron Fontaine. 18 and a half strings. Paladino, nine, 52 half. Barnes, 10, 56 half. He could have a couple more, he missed one. That one looked good, didn't go. Halfway down, the eight, the uh, 19 string of 20. It's gonna be fun. Let's switch over to Jerry Dunn for a moment. Just 36 through four.
Mona Lamar, hope you're feeling better, Mona. Through for Austin Barnes. Terry Dunn, seven, the setback shot. In trouble, for no getting up, knocking the mark. He doesn't convert here, in the half. Van Dyke on the nose. He has a two-one split. Ryan Cox up next. 61 half. Good try by Jeremy. Five boxes on a mark for Jerry. Trying to get to 46 through five. 46 it is. Van Dyke, 10, 52 through six. Ryan Cox now in lane 31. 61 half, 10, 10, spare eight, spare four, nine. Van Dyke on lane 30, his home house where he works. Six, nine, 10. Ryan, nice ball, two perfect, spread eagle, minus one, clipped wing eagle. Jeremy, good bid there. Ryan leads up three, two, three, six. Jeremy slips, holds his crown, picks it up for a 10. Back to back 10, 62 through seven. No marks here in the 19th. Ryan trying to get two. It does for nine. Money knows. Jeremy going right at it with this left. One, seven, nine, ten. Ryan 70 through six. Back back nines after perfect four boxes. Crossing over, spins nine, seven pin remains. And Dyke, what a try. Nothing to show for it. Hit the head pins, all you can do. Ryan, right. Oh, I thought he had it, just missed it. Jeremy, good pinning, eight. 70 through eight. Ryan in the channel, no good, nine. 79 through seven on Candleton Bowling Network. Ryan takes his time, look for a mark, pushes left, four, seven, eight. Van Dyke, only a seven. We'll cover Austin Barnes, who's up next, finish up his 19th, 56 half of him. Steph Miller after Ryan Cox, followed by Jerry Dunn. Jeremy, wow. Eight to go. Cox, beautiful ball. Three, six, ten remains. Jeremy will take a seven out of that. 77 to nine. Ryan gets the 10. 89 through eight. 77 to nine for Jeremy. How you doing today overall? Jerry, how you doing overall? Who is? Brian. Brian Cox is 15th right now? I think he is. Right around 15th, okay. Four spin and the nine. Jeremy pushes down the two, maybe. There it goes. 10 pin left up. Could use a mark. Ryan, good ball, 
Can't reach the nine. Nothing wrong with that shot. Van Dyke in the channel. Missed opportunity. Best he can do is 82. 88 last ring, very unusual. But it's a grind, you can wear you down. Three nines, 98. 98 through nine for Ryan Cox. Jimmy looks like he's injured. Nine, 90, uh, 81. 81, 19 straight. He's hurting. Barry, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Ryan Cox, only five. Make it six. One, four, eight, nine. Not a common leave. 98 through nine coming to his final box. Double J, JJ Trigney, 55 half. On lane 30. Ryan, one of the nine. Best can do is 108. After a 150 electrified finish in the 18th. JJ, 4 2 split, 3 2 split. Cox, 9. 107, 19 string. JJ looking for an out. Actually, your second ball. Bob, Bob Lee. Yeah, Jeff Surrett just threw a 103. He's, uh, uh, that, that, that's his 19th. He's, he's in trouble. Uh, Josh Daly is at 84 through 7, which is 14 over. Also, uh, you know, running out, of, running out of boxes, running out of strings. Aaron Fontaine had a 60. I think he had a 54. For Aaron Fontaine, we'll check that in a moment. Okay. JJ Trigney at 10, 65 through 6. 107 string for Ryan Cox. Steph Miller on the right. We'll switch over another five boxes to cover Austin Barnes. Steph, beautiful ball for a strike nine. The queen pin for the ladies, I call it. The five pin left up. The king otherwise, I call it the queen for the ladies. Should make that a rule. Queen pin for the ladies. Just saying. I had the copyright to that too, by the way. All kidding aside. JJ three in that ball. Steph, great chance. Wood to help on lane 31. Had a spare out in the first, spare in the sixth. 60, 66 in the ball. JJ right in the nose. Punch of the one five center Whistler. And coming to the string, Austin Barnes up 42 on Aaron Fontaine. 51 on Jeff Surrett. The top 10 coming in again. Austin Barnes, Aaron Fontaine, Jeff Surrett, Josh Daly, Jimbo Ayotte, Sean Baker, Nick Leach, Cavanlock, eighth, Nick Dorcross, Joey List to wrap up the top 10. Eight for Steph Miller on the spare, 74 through six. JJ eight last block, 73 through seven, takes down six. One, two, four, eight. Steph back to back bid, and if she missed right, Double J for a spare. Just inside, another half Worcester, this time the 2 8. One of the four stands. Miller with the Paul Grant special. No, she got one, never mind. She only got one for nine. 83 through seven, JJ nine, 82 through eight. One string left after the ankle balls bump next. Who will be the 2024 new champion? Tim the Tornado Douglas won it last year. Chris Merrill, two years in a row, he won prior to that. Gary Carrington won the very first one. He won three of them. Just rest won five. A bid for six today. JJ Powers, eight. Six to nine. Steph. Right side, three, two split. One, two, four. Right side, six, ten.
JJ picks it up, spare. 92 to ball through nine. Difficult lead for a spare. Push left, one, two, six, ten. Seven box, 90 through eight. 92 make it, it should be a seven. 90 through eight, correct the score, boy. AJ eight in the fill, 100 through nine. Steph Miller officially 90 through eight. JJ, tough lead, three to seven. Oh, what a try. Trying to get to 110. Austin Barnes up in just a moment. Trigney 10, 110, 19 strength. Steph Miller crossing over. 3, 7, 9, 10. We're going to cut off Austin Barnes, who's on 56 through 5, not on a mark. We're going to switch over now. Up, we'll give an update to Steph Miller and Jerry Dunn. Thank you, Nico. That's the website to get the updated scores online. Dominic Palladino, the Dominator, 1 2 10. He's at 52 through 5 coming in. Austin Barnes, 56 through 5. Aaron Fontaine bowling also to our left. Beautiful ball, spin seven, tough leave, seven left, five middle, nine right. Piece of wood to possibly help. Not going to be easy. Thanks for watching. Palladino. Object pin won't go. I have 48 in the last five, so I got one more. Barnes for a spare. No. Tough piece of wood. Now deal, object pin for a nine. 61 through six, the 19th string of 20. Barnes. Nine, the object pin, 65 through six. Trying to hang on to number one. We'll get update Aaron Fontaine in just a moment. He's number two, Jeff Stretch number three. Paladino, five. The hay bale, 31% for Class A bowlers to make without wood. Stashed by Canop and Bowling Network. Austin Barnes, seventh box, 19 string. Blisters the pocket, eight, seven, ten goal pulls. And it's not going to be easy that angle wood up high. Paladino, great bid, won't go. Five, middle, eight left. Steph Miller, by the way, 36 through four. No marks. Barnes, boomerang shot won't go. Another tough piece of wood got in the way. Dominic Palladino, 8, 69 through 7. Austin trying to get one, does. 9, 74 through 7. We'll love a mark or two. Come on, babe. Nice push ball. Give an update on Aaron Fontaine when he's done, if you can. When he's done. Paladino, right, missed right, sweeps up the one and the two on the rebound. Four, seven, nine, ten. Austin Barnes, pocket shot again, another split. This time it's the four and the ten, but better wood. Hit that pin to the right of the four if you can. That wood could roll to the East Coast. He could use it. Paladino, the wood. No. Seven, nine, ten. Barnes can make it. Can he get it? He did it! He used the wood instead of the pin. He got it anyway. Big spin. The eighth. 
84 to ball. Aladino spins two for nine. 78 through eight on Canopin Bowling Network. Over 1,000 videos, semi-pro to pro action. Always free, never a charge. Please subscribe on YouTube to Canopin Bowling Network. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. It's gonna shake doing that, it's gonna shake. Fontaine pulled a 130. Aaron Fontaine, a one, thank you, Justin Rodier. 113 string for Aaron Fontaine, which gives Austin Barnes a chance to go ahead. Paladino, 478. Barnes in the bonus on lane 29. Lead of lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. Right pocket Up. shot, seven. Eight wobbling and back. Two in front, five to the right. Woods to possibly help. 91 through eight. Paladino, nice bid, leads up to 10. Make a little spare chance for Barnes. Looks good. He's got it. Powers through the eight. 101 of the ball through nine. A chance to increase his lead. Go to the 20th and final string. Paladino 10, 88 through nine. Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill Mass, Austin Barnes, home lanes. He won a pro series here with Nick Leach a couple years ago. Academy. Yeah, can it, yeah. I know. I said that. I said that, JJ. He's bowling here, lead of lanes, though. I say, I say he's out of academy. No, I say he's bowling here now, but he bowls at academy. Leave me alone. Barnes four. JJ, give me grief here. JJ, give me grief here, JJ. It's a five fill maker. Thanks, Kevin. Five fill. Score corrections. One fell down. Even better, 106 through nine. Remember, up 42 coming into the string on Aaron Fontaine. Oh, what a try! Hit the king for the five, it won't go! How close can you get? Paladino nine, 97, 19 string. We're gonna keep it there in lane 30 for next string as we move one lane to the right. Austin Barnes has control for the title. Big 10 on the money. 116, gains three pins, 45 pin lead, one string left. All Grant Live on Kenneth Mowing Never, Rays 2024, Easter Classic on Kenneth Mowing Never on YouTube. Fontaine got a 113, now he's 40 pins. 113 and 114, Frog. 113, Aaron, right? Uh, 114. I was told 113. 14. Can you find out? Please, thank you. All right, one string left. Lane 30. Josh Dilly. Always in the running as well. We're going to go over to lane 30. Move over a little bit more this way. We'll keep it updated. Aaron Fontaine to our left. He's about five, six lanes over. What a run he's had. Jeff Thread also in the running. Third coming in to last string. I was told one I just told one thirteen for Aaron Fontaine. All right, we'll start just a moment. Is that through 19? Is that through 19 already? Okay, we got, okay. All right, we got the update through 19, our top 10 bowlers. This is through 19 strings. Austin Barnes, number one. Can he hold on? Top 15 get paid. Can you find out what the price, hey, sure. can you find out what the price fund is? 5,000. Five five thousand for first? Yes. Five thousand for first place. All right, here we go. Austin Barnes through nineteen strings of twenty. Twenty-five twenty-three. Remarkable. Aaron Fontaine, second, twenty-four seventy-eight. That puts him forty-five behind. Jeff Fred third, twenty-four fifty. I need to watch the string. Josh Daly fourth. 
Chimbo Ayotte fifth, Sean Baker sixth, Nick Leach seventh, Nick Norcross eighth, Calvin Locke ninth, Matt Harnett tenth. Oh, this is wrong. That's wrong? That's a mistake? Yeah, we made a mistake. Okay, that's a mistake, so forget that. We'll get a correction. Now, see that paper is incorrect. We'll give you an update officially in just a moment. I'm just a messenger. Rip and read, they say in broadcasting. Off the press, read it right away. Okay, waiting for a Jerry Dunn to finish up to our right here. I'll just show over him right now. Grab his 19 strings on a spare. 104 and a ball after a tough start. He gets seven for a 111. 19 string, Christopher Ryder to his right. Ends up with a 110, 19 string. Here we go. Final string. Can Austin Burns hang on? Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of the 2024 Rays Easter Classic. Start in just a moment. I can't see it from here though, that's why I don't know. Yeah. I'd give it to you, but they stapled it. Is that the new printout he gave me? Is that the new printout? Is that the new printout he gave me? Yeah. Okay. Right. okay, we got the update, folks. Let's get the update. My ball is done at 20th string. Let's let's just do this right now for you. Through 19 strings, Austin Rhymes, number one, 25-23. Aaron Fontaine, 24-78. 45 behind. Jeff Surrett, 24-59. 64 behind. Josh Daly, 24-35. Jimbo Ayotte, 23-62. Sean Baker, 23-29. Nick Leach, 23-27. Nick Norcross, 23-25. Calvin Luck, 9, 23-16. Third, second last year. Matt Harnett, 10, 23-05. And keep in mind, that's the strength, the key. 203 for Austin Barnes. Obviously, his new high single. And that gives him a 45 pin lead, one string to go. He's the third bowler. Let's cover Jimbo Ayotte. And Nick Leach. Nick Leach is number seven right now. He's in the black shirt on lane 28. Jimbo Ayotte here on 29. Jimbo had a 10 box. Nick Leach a spare on lane 28. The bonus ball on the crossover, nine. 19 through one. Trying to move up to a bigger prize fund. So I'll show you the prize fund here in just a moment. Nick Leach missed it. Here's the prize fund. You can see that. You can see that. On my phone, that's the prize fund. Five thousand. Last year was forty-four hundred. This year, five thousand dollars for first, eighteen hundred for second, twelve hundred for third, eleven hundred for fourth. A big disparity. On it goes, and $100 for the last two squats. High single is 50. Total price on $15,000. Thanks to Lexi and the staff at Lead Lanes for a great job. No charge for the lane fees. All right, Nick Leach, spare 9, 10, 29 through 2. Jimbo Ayotte, 10, 6. Now a strike, 26 plus 2 through 3. Blue shirt in lane 29, lucky strike. Crossing over, a check mark, minus one, three, six, ten. Leach, four, two, split. Jimbo Ayotte, the fifth, ski, 
fifth seed right now. You might need a 200 to win. That wouldn't be enough either, actually. You got it. Big spare. 46 the ball through four. Leach. Good try. Two of the eight. We'll talk to the winning bowler before we sign off. It's going to take a while to get the official scores posted. We have to wait in case any mistakes made. So after the done the string, it may take about five or ten minutes to get the final results. A dramatic finish last year with Tim Douglas hanging on with two remarkable spares to win it in the final two boxes. They got five in the fill, 51 to four. Leach, after a nine spare, 10-10, 30 to nine through three. Parallel pins plus the 10. Ryan Cox, 55, 46 through three, make it for him. Now 55 through four to our right. Leach, good bid. She won the Pro Series, was a Pro Bowl the year two seasons ago. Tim Douglas won it this year. Nine, 60 half, Leach. It's a nine. 48 through four. Nate Lee's on lane 29. Runner five times in the Pro Series. It's not just final string. Austin Barnes. Yep, we'll, we'll cover him next when he comes up. Leach, three, leaning pin, five, and the 10. Lees, two. Leach, good try. The logic won't go. Nate slips, drops out the six, seven left. Three sets of pair, uh, double pins. Nick, nice 10. Solid pinning. 58 half. Only one pin on the deck. Lee's hurting. He's limping up there. In pain. Three to start the match. The final string of the match, I should say. Good thing it's not the start of the match for him. It's the right 85 and a ball. Thank you, thank you Justin Scally. Just read, still in the running. 85 and a ball through five. He's got an outside shot. He was 64 behind. Let me get a. If he keeps that pace up, he gets a 160 or 170. 180, maybe. He has a shot. Outside shot still. Looking for his sixth Easter Classic title. Nate Lee's pocket shot. Five. Joe Bully on lane 28. Lee's of the wood trying to sweep it over. Got the pins instead. Joe with a nine. All eyes on Austin Barnes. Up next. Captain. Lee's nice out, nine, just 12 for two. It's a grind, 20 strings. You gotta pace yourself. All these bowls, one bowl to Friday Night Pro League. So I'll take a week off. Austin Barnes been lean 30 to start his 20th string for the title. Aaron Fontaine just right on his tail still. He has a com comfortable lead. But no lead safe with these type of bowlers. Some of the best bowlers in the world are here today. Joe Bully, 138. Seven box, 16 through two. Lee's, 589. 
Yeah, I'll take Bob Lee. You got the news from, yeah, did you get the Justice news on Justin Kelly said 85 through 5 yep, the ball. He started with a double strike and an 8. So a 28 in the first box. Uh, and then a 20 box in the second. And, yeah, he, he made a beautiful spare at the end. It was like a... It was like a like a high low jack, but I think it was eighty five in a ball. Yep. Okay. He, 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 but he brought down the house with that one. He leaves a nine twenty one through two. Now Oz, Jeff's thread is behind. He is a twenty four fifty nine coming in. Austin runs twenty five twenty three in between Aaron Fontaine twenty four seventy eight. We we think so. That should that should be a difference in about the fifty. In the 50s, what, what did you think? Jeff is 64 behind coming 64. in. 64, okay. He was 51 down, and then he, yeah, he threw a 103. Barnes threw a 116. That makes sense. 64 adds up. Um, Gets a 17. I'll make it interesting. And Josh Daly should be bowling. I'll, I'll go check on that right check now. Check on Aaron Fontaine, too, in a moment. He's not up yet. Fontaine hasn't bowled yet. Right, Nate Lee's nine last box, 21 through three. Joe Bully, nine, 25 through three. All eyes in Austin. Barnes up next. Throws a 125 or so. That would, should clinch it. I would think. You never know. So he gets his 2 3 like he had in the earlier today in that third string. That's the difference. Please. 9, 30 through 4. Joe with a 6, 31 through 4. One more box, and then it's Austin Barnes done his 20th and final string. Again, here are the top three. If you missed it coming in. Realistically, they're running. You notice that third string 203 for Austin Barnes. Start with a 146 and 111. And a 140 at that 203. Another 158 earlier, 155 and a 140. Four, three, six, ten, right. Right in the middle. He can't wake up the lanes. He's, he's in bad shape physically. Boule, he's up two. Bob Lee. Okay, Josh Daly just threw a three spare, 63. Um, sat down on a, on a mark, on a spare. And, uh, so, but Surrett leads by 46 pins head to head. Over, I mean, they're, they're within a couple, couple uh, lanes of each other. Surrett had a 40, there's a 46 pin lead through the fifth box in the in the 19th string. So you got you got Fontaine beginning work over there. He's on our, our sister net, sister network with Greg Gouillard. And uh, he's op he had a it looked like he threw a nine in the first. I gotta go bold. Okay, though. Austin Barnes up now started his 20th and final string and he win five thousand dollars in his first Easter classic title. His final string on lane 30 here at Lita Lanes in Ashley Hampshire underway. Off to left, three. Bundle of nerves, I'm sure. A lot of pressure on him. Aaron Fontaine and Jess Wright, great ball. Jeff's won it five times already. Barnes right, trying to bounce back. Chris Bovier to his left. Barnes, nice bib, two full. Try to get three. Bovier, blinked it. Three would help. Barnes here on lane 30. Two for an eight to start his final string. No, just has an 85 half across the way in the ball. Josh Daly, 63 off of the ball in fourth. Any updates on Aaron Fontaine? I would think a 125 string would punch it for Austin Barnes. Nice ball, 3-2 split. There goes the 10-3-1 split. Again, on a tough leave. Bovier, 1-2-4. Chris, a great bowler, and a world champion in his own right. Barnes, Audrey Ping, got the three, couldn't reach the six. Two straight without a mark. Bovier pushes left. No marks for Aaron Fontaine, 20 after three. It's a good sign for Austin Barnes, but just threat, 85 and a ball across the way. Austin, nine, 
17 through 2. Bovier, 10, 19 through 2. Again, we'll talk to the winning bowl when it's all done. Third box, 20th string. Barnes can't find the head pin. Five up, five down. Over, one, three, seven. Big crowd here watching. Tough lead. He got it! Incredible shot for a spare! That is Lido Fonte potentially. 27 the ball through three. Aaron 29 through three, we're told. What a tough shot. Parallel pins. One, two, five, eight, nine. Pizza cake. Over there. A nine. 28 through three. Barnes controls his destiny. Big spare fill here. Strike would be huge. He got the headband barely. It finally goes. Grazed it. Seven. Three, six, ten. Spare chance. 34 through three. That puts him box to box of five on Aaron Fontaine. In the string. Oreo cookie, cream in the middle, left the way for us on the outside. Over just missed the 10 for a spare. 3 10, baby split for Austin. Gets the one for nine, 43 through four. Update here from uh, Miranda Wallace. So Aaron Fontaine is at 57 for half, and Jeff Surrett is at 85 open on a spare for half. It's a funny thing. Canada, you say open means you're on a spare, but open here means you're not on the mark in the States. Really? Oh, well, he's on a spare. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Miranda. No problem. Austin Barnes, fifth box, 20th string, the final string of the match on Candleton Bowling Network on YouTube. Beautiful ball. Strike! Huge! 53 plus 2 through 5. The crowd goes wild. Crushed it. Bovier, 3. He's at 37 through 4. Aaron Fontaine, 57 through 5, not on a mark. Over there, 7, 42 half, 44 half, make it 44. Five bucks to go for each bowler, 15 boxes left. Austin's trying to hang on. He's been clutch all day. Also, the 45 coming in. So with that strike, he's at 53. Aaron at a 40, 57 half. So right now it's 41. But he's filling a strike next. And again, Jeff Surrett across the way, 85 half plus a ball. We'll get updates as soon as we find out. I will let you know, the on the second half right yeah. Jimbo Aon. Jeff, 6, 10, 7 left on lane 30. And a 125 recently. Jimbo has a 60. Half coming in. Tough leave. Chops out the two. One, seven, nine, ten. Jimbo on eight. Ten for Jeff. Jeff 67 through six. Jimbo 68 through six. But hold on, folks, the final five boxes. For Austin Barnes, coming up in a few moments. Right here live on Kenneth Bowling Network. 
Jeff Green. Jimbo, beautiful ball, eight, nine to 10. Wood to help. Jimbo can't go. Jeff Rains looking for an out. Nice out for Jeff, nine. 76 through seven, Jimbo nine. Seven's a wild, 77 through seven. Yeah, 25 ball, 25. I was trying to show we to clinch first place. Not yet. Keith watching, Craig Melanson Bowling, thanks for watching. Angela Paquette, thanks for watching. Michael Steves, Peter Smith, thanks for watching. Barry, are we on live? We have a low battery warning here. All right, it's all fixed, thank you. We have a low battery warning, we got it live again. Down to 10% on Bob Lee's iPad. Jimbo Aon spare, 87 of the ball through eight. Justin, do you see if Bob is bowling? I get, I'm down to eight or nine, nine percent battery. I want to see if plug this in some other extension cord somehow. Probably. No, you can't. No outlet anywhere. Yeah. He's not going to get you an extension cord. I got a 50 foot in my car. <laughs> Jeff, eight, eight, two, three, coming in. Jim on the bonus, crossing over six. Seven, the Matt Harnett special, three, seven, ten. He made famous in that world tournament, the last box for a spare to win it. Ray plus economy, the fifth championship on YouTube on Candle Promoting Network. 94 through eight, push right. Jeff with an eight, 90 through eight, and correction, 90 through nine, Jimbo nine. 103 through nine. Austin Barnes, the third bowler of five, six minutes from now to hold on for that Easter Classic title. Jeff Stray making a furious rally. This is Aaron Fontaine. Thanks for some bowling. Nice bid. Jimbo off the wall, no operation game. But between the two pins, he's into the buzzer. Jeff in the channel, no good. Minus one. He's at 98 right now, and that's a 98 it is. 98, final string. Jimbo, 10, 113, final string. Survives another Easter Classic. Five boxes to go before Austin Barnes comes up. 162. One, 162. Jeff Stretch just threw a 162 final string. And coming in, he was 41, he was 64 behind, 60, 98, off to 99 to beat him. So he cannot get number one more than likely. Austin Barnes is on a strike, 53 plus two. We'll cover him next. Nate Leeds is hobbling to the finish line. Saya Boulay on the right, on lane 30. The middle man, the string. 
162 for Surratt. Yep. Thank you. Sure. 162 for Jeff Surratt. What a finish, Jeff Surratt. Great battle. Sire, a 5, 42 through 6. Nate Lees, 9, 48 through 6. Four boxes for Austin Barnes. Tries to win it all. We might do our interview on Greg Gouillard's feed afterwards for the interview at the end. What about Aaron Fontaine, though? Jeff 162 can't catch him, right? Good try. 62-21. Jeff's friends with a 62-21, so Austin Mons with a 99 to beat him. What was his total? Jeff's total was 26-21. Um, 26-21 for Jeff Surrett. So Austin Monty, 99 to beat that. Sit on a strike. Need 40 more pins. 40 more pins for Austin, well, 45. 46. Austin, a 99 string to clinch it. Pending Aaron Fontaine. Aaron, we need a monster to finish. Which which Aaron have at the half? Not on the mark, right? That's right. Aaron Fontaine, 57 to half, not on the mark. Austin, 53 half. Plus two up next. Final two boxes, or three, final three boxes here before Austin Brown comes up. Saya 51 through 7. Nate Lees, 52 through 7. Injured. Great bid. Saya 10, 61 through 8. Nate Lees, 9, 61 through 8. Two blocks to go for Austin Bond. Wraps up, up, wraps it up. A great chance to win the whole thing. He's led since the third string. He's led all the way since the third string, right? He's led through three strings. He didn't lead the first two, though, right? Aaron Fontaine had 299 his first two. He had a 166 second. So Austin has led since the third string. He had 203, the reason why he's right here. Ball is wrapping up here. Saya on the right, Nate on the left. Leaving at local time, Eastern Standard Time start. Chase, thanks for watching. Saya. Trying to get a couple here. Head pin for an eight, 69 through nine. Nate Lees just can't get his footing. Fontaine has 57 and a half. 57 and a half. 57, he has 53, plus a strike. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what? So, and okay. Austin started off in third. Right, so Aaron led up to five. Seven, okay. And then went. So Austin's led basically most of the way. Ninety percent. Twenty-six, twenty-one. Yeah, one six. Thank you, Miranda. One sixty-two for Jeff Surratt. Amazing. Final box. These two bowlers, Nate Lees. It can't be soon enough. We'll be taking a few days off, I'm sure, from bowling. Saya wrapping up on lane thirty. Saya Bully. Santa Diamond. Try to get the seventy-nine. Nate Lee's somehow trying to get the 79. He's got five left to get there. Saya, six, 75, final string. Nate Lee's slow motion ball. Seven, 76, hurting. Let's go! 
20 of strength. Here comes Austin Barnes. Great crowd watching. Aaron Fontaine, I'll we'll get up to Aaron Fontaine also. Aaron right now is at 70, 77 through 7, Aaron Fontaine. So Austin Barnes has control. A 99 will clinch it. Jeff Strick could finish second. All right, on the side, double go! Looking good for the title! 73 plus bonus balls! Wow! He's gonna win it now. He should have it now. Not official yet. He can taste it. Capacity crowd watching. Lita Lane's National Hampshire on Candle for Rolling Network on YouTube in high definition. A triple strike will put it away. Chris Flavier at 9, 53 through 6. All up Austin Barnes. On lane 30 for a triple. 6, 26 in the first double strike box. 69 half, 79 in the ball through 6. It's looking good. Ken Loretta, Jolly Boy. Mr. Gamer Man, Mr. Gamer Man, thanks for watching. This would be ridiculous. On the cusp of the title, sliced and diced it. Seven of the second double strike box. 86 through six, he's gonna win it. He's gonna win the 2024 Easter Classic. Not official yet. Six, nine, seven left. Seven. 93 through seven, six pins to clinch. Three boxes to go. Lee over here. He's not, he needs to double this to get to 26. For the win! Oh, yeah. Here it is! Oh, Only fitting! Whoa! 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 Austin Barnes, the 2024 Easter Classic Champion in Grand Fashion. Strike for Chris Romare. The bridesmaid strike, you could say. And Chris hugging Austin Barnes, good for him. Academy Lanes, Pub 125s. Austin Barnes here at Lita Lanes in Nashua. What a finish. Three strikes in four boxes. That's how you put it away. Certainly was not handed to him, he earned it all. Go for another double. He had quite, not in the wiggle. When you hot, you hot. <laughs> Icing on the cake. Unbelievable performance by Austin Barnes. Defending chance for Academy 2 in the Friday Night Pro League. Number four seed this year. For a spear on strike. Bang! Ice cream! 113 through 8, 123 to the ball of the ninth. There in front tank, you know. I don't know. Maybe just read second, Aaron Fontaine third. We'll find out. Or well, vice versa, Josh Daly, maybe fourth. Aaron Fontaine, last time we heard was 97 through 9. Good run. 104 for Aaron Fontaine final. Another strike bid, seven more. 130 through 9. Would charge the seven, won't go, six, ten right. Would this be something? He wants more. For a spare. He got it! Oh! The ball in the seven! Unbelievable, Austin Barnes! What a finish! 140 to ball in the tenth! Sizzling! Oh, 
Go be a 99 final string. Austin Barnes, wow. Ken Redmond, wow. Peter Smith is right. Easter Classic champion replacing Tim the Tornado Douglas. Good to see Young Bola winning it. Barnes on the bonus to wrap it up. And 7, 8, 9, 4. 149. The crowd goes crazy. Give it up for Austin Barnes. Easter Classic champion 2024. Listen to the crowd. Hundreds watching. What a finish, 149. That'll give him 26, 72. Wow. Let's try to talk to Austin. Well, do you want to do the interview on our yeah. stream? It'll be you. All right, yeah. We're going to switch up. We're going to sign up in this feed, switch to Greg Gouillard's feed on Kenneth Moyne Network for the interview with Greg Gouillard. Hall Grand Sand song for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Network. Switch over to Greg Gouillard's feed. We'll do an interview with Austin Barnes in just a moment. Thank you.